<laughs> you got to make them off air and vent. Yes, but as it come, when it comes on to you, our listeners, we're so good to have you all on board. Those of you who have already checked in, we're glad you're on board. You know you're tuned to Stars FM Radio 96.1 on the FM dial, 96.5 and 96.7 um, at different parts of the island. So try doing your tuning in on the FM dial. And if you can't get us on the dial, then you could check out the good old Facebook tonight because you know the show is on live and if you didn't know now you know the show is on live on fb so i want to welcome you all and i really hope and trust that you had a great christmas holiday the two little days that we had here in jamaica you know we celebrate christmas day and boxing day on the 25th and the 26th respectively so for all the jamaicans a yard and foreign you know how it got all those who flew in just to be here with their family for christmas welcome 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 and of course those who are in foreign and couldn't make it still we're glad you're tuning in to your very own portland-based jamaican radio station all right and of course the international radio station too so tonight we have our engineer cassidy in house with us and we are going to take you through a wonderful few hours up until 12 midnight. So I'm your girl, Lady Cleo, and Prestige will be my co-host tonight. And who? let me give the people those numbers, Cassidy, and the social media sites, of course, that they can hook us up on. Remember now, if it is that you do want to call in later on as we go throughout the discussions and you know you wanna we're gonna do things a little bit differently tonight so if you wanna hook us up on the local connection that number is 876-453-1444 if you want to give us a whatsapp message as well whatsapp message is only now it's 876-453-1444 as well and if you want to send us a regular SMS, that's the same number that you are going to use. And for our overseas listeners, it's 954-338-7973. If you want to call in from overseas, 954-338-7973. All right. And we want to say hail up to all those who are Tuned in to Stars FM Radio in the USA on the go. The number on the go is 712-832-2772. In the UK, it's 033-0606. Could you get that number up, please? My eyes are, are blurry. Yeah. 033-0606-0944. All right, that's the UK on the go number. And in Canada, where I know the temperatures are, whoo, it's 647-957-9637. Why are you in that bag like a mice? Um, you know uh, <laughs> yes, you do. All right, so even though when you hear, you're in the house and you hear it's a bag rattling in a corner, you know, like a mice or something trying to get into your bag. Yeah, I saw you sound a while ago. <laughs> All right, so of course, Cassidy, our social media peeps, you know we have to love them up tonight. I'm all about the love tonight, you know. I'm all about the love. Every night I'm about the love. But tonight, some real special love. All about the love tonight. So, the social media um, sites, of course, YouTube is where we post our shows afterwards. So, it stars FM Radio for YouTubers. Mm hmm. And on Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. And on Twitter, at Styles FM 961. And as I said before, good old Facebook is where you'll go to watch the live feed. And of course, that's at Styles FM 96.1. Check out the fan page. So we have Rudolph and Rudolph Isha in studio tonight. I don't like my name. Give me a cuter name. I gave you Rudolph. Give me a cuter name. Lady Cleo. <laughs> I need a reindeer Cleo. name. We're not a reindeer name for you. Your name is Lady Cleo. 
Yeah. Lady Cleo, don't... Don't follow these, these traditional things. I'm a traditional name, girl. Your name is I'm Lady not Cleo. Lady Cleo tonight. Christmas gone a long time. No, it's not 25th. gone. It's still here. From the 25th. No, I'm feeling it. You want, a new, feel... you want a new name for the new year? No. Well, okay. We we'll work with Rodisha. Okay. Rodisha. <laughs> Somebody sent me Rodisha. <laughs> I just love my listeners. I swear it. I'm Rodisha tonight mm. with my reindeer um, ornament. Uh. And you're Rudolph. No. Yes, you are Rudolph. No. Your nose actually looks red from this angle. Look at that. Mm. Where was your nose earlier, by the way? Why is it red? Eh? Where home. did you have your nose? At home. At home where? Eh? In the living room. Doing what? Watching TV. Your nose was watching TV. Yeah, I was nosy. You were, oh yeah, my goodness. I was nosy goodness. watching TV. Ouch. Yeah. That has so many meanings. Yes. That has so many meanings. Would, 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 would you like for me to tell you my nose was somewhere else? Tell me off here, brother. Yeah. Tell me off here. In the bedroom. Da, da, di, Rodisha. Putting, putting on my clothes. To come to work. I bet you were. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> Annette <laughs> in Duck and Feel is also uh, locked in. Bless up yourself as well, Sister Annette. Good to have you on board. Mama Sadie, hello to you too. Happy New Year when it comes, my dear. Mm-hmm. And wishing for you all the best too. Thank you for the wishes that you're bringing out for Styles right now. Yep. And same to you and yours and to all our wonderful listeners. All the very best for 2020 and beyond. Health and wealth and blessings and love and guidance and prosperity for the new year. And I want Cassidy to have some babies. Ooh, <laughs> Cassidy say. Mm? The man what? who hardly speaks in the studio says when he's not when he's not working that is on set. What say, can I see? Mm? I can't check a goat for your mind. Yes. I be every time. I I yeah. pray you two babies. Yeah. If it's even two twins. Yeah. A pair of twins, that yeah. is. No. <laughs> Good night, Lisa. <laughs> Where have you been, my sugar? You and your puppy. Uh. Oh man. Good to have you. We didn't see Lisa for like a couple of weeks. I don't know what yeah. happened to Lisa. Oh. Yeah, but it's good to see her tonight. Good night, pretty lady. Uh, maybe she was on a holiday. Maybe she was on a yeah. vacation. Yeah. Dan Dan has gone hunting mm -hmm. or sorrel drinking or cake eating or something in. I don't know where, where um, Dan Dan is. And let me say congratulations. I forgot last week. Congratulations to DG Angel on tying the knot. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, I think she's now Mrs. Smith. Eh? Yes. What? Yes, eh? Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Yep. That is so nice. That is so nice. Oh, Lisa yeah. is taking care of her newborn. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful news. Oh, congratulations, mommy. Congrats. Lisa. Cool. Name him Daddy Rude. <laughs> that would be a rude I'm baby. sure, I'm sure yeah. Lisa is sure? just you, you scoffing right now at the sound of that. You don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Well, if it's a boy, you name him Daddy Rude. Yeah. And if it's a girl, oh, you yeah. gotta name her Lady Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Lisa, Lisa, I'm just troubling you, girl, but congratulations, honey. All right. And. What's been happening with you, Prestige? Well, 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 well. Such is life, you know. Such was, is life. I was um off for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, just getting some rest. Yeah, you getting rest? Oh, please. Yeah. What happened? You were not doing any such thing. Why? You know, feel so my body get tired too. I know it does. Eh? I, I have no doubt it does. It's not only school. But I know you're not resting. It's not only school teacher body get tired. I know, <laughs> right? I know. What have you, what have you, I saw you the other day, you know. Yeah. Looking well prepared for a great evening, you know. Where? Mm -hmm. Where? You can and you, say. you weren't alone. Eh? You had a beautiful Young empress lady? beside you. Oh. And when you yeah. walked away, I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Why Prestige I... is all set. The business got her reward. Yes, I'm yeah. all up in your business, brother. I, you want to hear them? I say, what? 
Eh, I'm precise. I'm precise. I'm going like say, well, you know, but <laughs> who is a beautiful princess? I tell you, boy. It leave or left for them to know. To figure it out. Or to figure it out. Okay. You know what I mean? Lady, lady, clear does I throw the bait out there. <laughs> and this is how we go. She just throw in the bait out there. So, Ooh, la la. Well, if you know, I pick up the bait and the line hold on. I found the good luck. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, but that boy. was so nice, you know? Yes, yeah. it was great seeing yeah. you. And and the other day. And Sandra and yeah. I, Sandra, Dollar Coin. Yeah. And King Mitchell, yeah. we hang out that evening yeah. when we saw you. Yeah, man, we were. We're rocking the, the room together. Yeah. I, I want to tell you, you know, you know, say, when they cross the road, I'm a little soldier link me and say, mm. such and such. Mm-hmm. I'm a little, little soldier rolling because you don't know me stay already. Yeah. I mean, I have to just up myself in any way. Okay, place. that's right. Let's go. Yeah. Because we always put on clothes that we are coming on road. So, what's yes. about we have on? Just work. It can work, same way. Yeah. Because I just saw Jamaica stay, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. On a tropical level, you get me? Yes. Unless. It's a, it's a party where you know it's an invitation only party. Mm-hmm. A different story that. Papa, you have your money in your pocket, you just go anywhere you want to go. As long as you put yourself together. Simple as that. Real talk. Yeah, man. So Real we, talk. We, we enjoy yourself. I mean, like how oh, the massive turnout, you know what I mean? I say, I support the thing. I on a level there. You think you I mean, want no business? Mm. This person here know more than me. Prestige and the big woman. Big up. Oh, is me them talking? Yeah. Or is somebody? Are you the matter? Man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you the matter? Straight yeah. out of Kingston City. Yeah. Look up yourself. Right. We are going to the first break, guys. And it's now 9 34. Wow, the time is flying. Mm. When we come back from the break, we'll give you more real talk. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Yo, this is Jatty the Reggae Ambassador. Join me alongside Jatty Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rock Steady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily Lily Lee. Remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Shake it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Christmas is coming and you should be shopping smart. Shop three places. Kamal Supermarket, Cameron Supercenter and Gina Wholesale. Save your receipt for the big Christmas giveaway is coming. Get ready for the big Christmas giveaways. Coming to Kamal Supermarket, Cameron Supercenter and Gina Wholesale. It's coming for the Christmas. Listen to Styles FM and Sanctum Cable Television Network and you'll get the date. Shop now. Save your receipt. Kamal Supermarket, Gina Wholesale and Cameron Supercenter. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Style. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. 
Welcome back to Real Talk with Daddy, well, not Daddy Ru tonight, DJ Prestige and yours truly, Lady Cleo on set. And if you're just joining us, we want to welcome you to the show tonight. Uh, trust you had a wonderful Christmas and keep it locked to stars, yeah? No matter what happened, no matter what's going on around you, keep it locked to stars because trust me, right throughout the week, I'm sure there'll be something on on styles that will educate you, entertain you, help you to relax and just reflect on the, the beautiful island that you call home. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Real talk. So Lisa does trick a while ago. Mm -hmm. Both she looking after a newborn. She said it was lucky. She's just traveling the world and living life. <laughs> having fun. No babies, she said. No mm -hmm. babies. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. 412, send us a num your name, rather, so we can attach a name to the number. All righty. Thank you. Thank God Daddy Road not here tonight. <laughs> I think whenever she says that, she's actually missing him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are frenemies on Real Talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's been happening with you apart from you say you were resting? Oh. Uh -huh. You say you were resting. I don't believe that for a second. You know, say, you know, say with me, my life is just the same all the time. Nothing changed. Really? It's, yeah. Nothing changed. You know? Hmm. Yeah. Nothing changed on the social part of my life, you know? Maybe business-wise, but the social part of my life, right? you know what I mean? It's just the same. Same. Just the same, you know what I mean? What yeah. is it? Mm. What is it? And I'm going to ask Cassidy the same question. Mm. What <laughs> is it that you love most about your island, Jamaica? And it's a two-part question. Yeah. And what is it that you hate the most mm -hmm. about your island, Jamaica? All right. One thing I love about Jamaica. The most. Yeah. The most. There are several things to love, I can tell yeah. you that. Yeah. But there must be something that stands out, jumps out at you. Maybe more than one, but one that readily comes to your mind. What you love most about your island, your home. Yeah. Hmm. I can't do anything when I want to Jamaica. <laughs> free at Jamaica if I do more and do at Jamaica. Anything? Manalega. Free at Jamaica if I do more and do, right? Like what? When it, you know certain things when it comes down to the law, you know you can't go overboard. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm right, that, right, right. Stay within the confines of the, confines of the yeah. law, yes. Yeah. But yes. You know, me wake up. All right. Me wake up. Me not fear work. Fi eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean I go on shelter. <laughs> okay. You get me? I say. Got you. Right. In Jamaica, because you have fruits there where you can. You know what I mean? And you have a neighbor over there where you can call pan and you get, get a little bit. Get to see the banana. Right. You know, see, you cannot do that like in America and stuff like that because if you're not working, you can't eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Right? And if you're lazy, panel level, well, you know, say so you can't with the government, but it's not going to be the same. Here in Jamaica, you just live free, easy. Mm -hmm. You don't worry about anything in life. You know, and stress yourself out over certain things. You get me? I say, mm -hmm. because it just comes natural. You know, the tropical weather. Yes. Here in Jamaica, right? Awesome. Yeah. You know, see, especially, right? <laughs> Don't say it, though. You got certain people that say, oh, yeah, and because you live in Portland. No, the beautiful weather in Portland. I like when it's rain like that in Portland. Mm. We used to that in Portland. Yes. You know what I mean? You know, stuff like that. Yeah, some people come to Portland <laughs> and they come from far out of the snow, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and come to Portland. And it's a rainfall every day, 26 days. Out of the month, rain and fast straight. But at the same time, we can't get for wash clothes and eat up and line and the dry. See how we, right? <laughs> and we still like go which part we are going to see how we. Yeah. Right? The only difference is it, <clears throat> other than the foreign country, them, no snow. Yeah. We you know don't what I mean? Have and no when snow. snow over there, they still have to go to work, see how we. Right? So why when rain and fall over here, we are going to complain about the rain and fall over here <laughs> and stuff like that. You know what I mean? No, I love that. You know? Okay. You know, see, the people here in Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> people here in Jamaica, you know. There are some beautiful people here in Jamaica, nice people here in Jamaica, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not talking about just we nosy neighbors, them. We <laughs> open up people's business more time. And, and, and you know, friends where try to get involved in a, your life more time and them look away. You know what I mean? I'm mean, not talking about them. But you have nice people here in Jamaica. I mean, like that. Definitely. Yeah. About, you know, we Jamaican, you know. Oh, we, 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 we live loving 
despite the, the, the shooting and all them crime that we are going, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We live loving with each other, you know? We are we, we a, a party country, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We turn it and I make fashion Aye. in anything, everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, love that, you know? The other part now about <laughs> my island, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. That is not so yeah. exciting for you. Yeah. I mean, just put in part of it just a while ago, in the good part, but now put it in again, in the bad part. Mm -hmm. And me don't know. Because we always say, if it's just people in certain parishes, or, or you know, parish, or, or just the island, Jamaica, me don't know. Mm -hmm. But when I said, well, at the island, Jamaica, there are some people just, then just no, no mind their own business. Mm -hmm. They don't mind their own business. Because, may I tell you something? Me live in the United States for 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. And my neighbor, I don't even know when my neighbor leave out a morning time and go to work and come back in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't see my neighbor for two weeks. But is, is that a good thing though? Is it? Eh, eh? Is it good? Is it good where are you, you're not your neighbor's keeper? Because they don't know what's happening with you, nor vice versa. It, you just go in and out, and nobody knows that the person lives right there. They could be over there sick, and nobody knows. No, they, well, let me tell you no, something. They don't, come, they don't really have a relationship. Neighbors are Is family members. Neighbors in the United States and those countries, they have family members just come look for them. I not like Jamaica, where you have to have something for family members to come, come look for you. <laughs> them kind of style. Yes, where I come from? Yeah. You know, see, you have people who use them telephone, a phone them work by. Mm -hmm. You know, I use them telephone and call up and say, Hey, hey Joe, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah, um, I haven't heard from you in such and such a time and way, 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 you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I use up them telephone and make calls and weekend time them, you know what I mean? But sometimes your neighbor, uh, I'll truck drive on him out for the week. Okay. Pan the road. And when he come in, he may have a week, right? Our four day in the spin and your neighbor rap. And he come like, you rap for you a month, two mm -hmm. months. Despite the, the, the two weeks where he's not there, you get me say? And everybody does mind their own business. That is it. Right? Mm -hmm. Jamaica different. Different. Up in your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. But how you Jamaica and that? That make we live. You know what I mean? Are them things that make we live, you know, clear. But what are them you? Them things that make we live and feel happy and just live. The crime thing we are going on in Jamaica, I mean, mm. to like it. I, sh I concur with that one. Yeah, it have the island panel level, right? Where most people tense in a certain era mm -hmm. where they live. Yeah, you know? and the, the you work so, discomfort. Yeah, you, you, you work so hard, yeah. right? You come home now, right? Or you are here still. You're still there in Jamaica and you work so hard for everything, right? Where you own. And at the same time, you finally come and come in and come stick you up. Sometimes him kill you, sometimes him don't, and just mm -hmm. take your hard earnings. You know what I say? And oh. left you now uncomfortable. And these are the things when we don't really like where I go on in Jamaica right now. Even the, the, the um, returning resident, them come back home yeah. now and stuff like that, right? To contribute now to the economy now here in Jamaica, right? Because they was away for a long time. You know, and stuff like that. And, and there, come there are home. people who just really don't want to live overseas. No, not at all. They really want to live here. Yes. Want to live here. Yeah. But then, because of what is happening and what some the minority here are doing, there are now persons who are saying, I had planned to do X, Y, and Z See? back here at home. But since this has been the case, I have changed my mind. And we need to stop, you know, we need to we need to find and I that. Those means of getting yeah. rid of those bad apples that are that. messing us yeah. up, man. Yeah, me, me can tell you from experience, like, I have two aunts, right? And they own houses down here. And right now, they might think now to sell them houses now because they don't really want to come back to Jamaica. You know what I say? Mm. Come live no more. They change their mind. Oh. Hmm. You know? And, 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 and this is what now, you know, where can I have the country? It, it's panel unfortunate, level. don't it? It have the country. These panel social level. issues, the yeah. social issues, and you know some of it is coming from way up the top. Yeah. Some of the contributing factors to the issues that we're having is from the very top. Yeah. You know, um, but but yeah. there is always good 
Despite, despite, yes, it's not gonna stop. It's a beautiful a island. Like me and other people it's to gonna, go where it's they want to go. Island. But we just know where yeah. to enter and not to enter. Yeah, where to go and where not to go. Cassidy, and it's a beautiful island scenery. It is. It is. Nothing can change that. Nothing can, can I tell change you? Jamaica. So, peeps, um, and the good people that are here, yeah. nothing can change our spirits. And if you are over there in the United States, wherever you are overseas, right, and you want to come to Jamaica and vacation. No, me, I'll stop you. You come and you make a scene on vacation. Because anywhere you are, anything can happen at any time. You get me? I say, right? So mm. let's come and you make a go in Jamaica and save scenery. The beautiful which, island. Which let's come in Jamaica and save scenery, man. Is right. Because yeah. it's about everywhere. Everywhere. I'm not, I'm not condoning, but yeah. everywhere will have their issues. Yes. Because God forbid they will be mm. bombing this and bombing that yeah. and all kind of things happening in all these other countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. people are living in fear just the same. Right. Of planes and trains and all kind of things that are that could be poss that could possibly happen while they're out on the road commuting. That's true, right? So you know, nowhere you can. Not to say that ev everywhere is safe. Mm -hmm. I put it that way, but it's still good to be a Jamaican. I'm proud yes. of that. And Jamaicans, yeah, come on, come enjoy yourself. See That's you right, Cassidy. Yeah. What do you love most about your island? Hmm. Mm. Most the girls. Da, da, the dee. sexy girls. Da, da, da. <laughs> he smiles on that one. Mm -hmm. What you what what you don't like at all? Mm. Yes. Mm. Nosy neighbors too. So no you want prestige have nosy neighbors? Wait, 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 wait. You want prestige have nosy neighbors? Like board. seriously? Find your play for them, Cassie. <laughs> nosy <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nosy neighbors. Find your play for them. Why are you here? Um, eh? indoctrinating um Cassidy, you know. Mm. No, I no joke. Clear. Clear. <laughs> I'm not joking. But well, you know, it's true you're talking, though. I'm not joking, Clear. Uh, it's true. There is somebody who I never even know where they live. I never even know where they live, and they could tell where I live. Yeah. And, and when we say nosy... And I'm like, oh, when seriously? We say nosy, when we say nosy neighbor, you know, it, it, it doesn't have to mean your neighbors will live beside right, you. Right, know? I know, I know, I know. You Not immediate me? neighbors, yeah. right. Because my neighbor, them are nice. People, them. Nice, very they nice some people. some fast people for true. True, 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 fast, bad, and they know all about your business, even the ones that you don't even know about yourself yet, because there are things that they put together that they, that you never even know to happen, or did that happen, or whatever, and they can tell you that, yes, man, and you're like, eh, a true, me, and they are giving you the stories about yeah. you, and oftentimes, their stories just unheard of messed up and they don't see that one to talk about it and go try to fix it that's true but they see everybody else's business around them that's true big and serious yeah trying to make your life uncomfortable yeah you know annoying what I'm saying? annoying <laughs> yeah. but they can't they can't tap in <laughs> Pan lady clear and dj press you can go and ask <laughs> um prestige for some of his nice cookings you know he mm. will give you some yeah don't stay woman chatting you know yeah I have nothing good for say. Yeah, man. And there's some people for true. Don't taste me, man. Don't taste me, man. No call for me. I come taste me, man. Oh my goodness. Yeah, come taste me, man. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, for me, what I really, really love mm. most, I yeah. think about. Uh, there are so many things. But Your island, Jamaica. One, yeah, one of the things I love most about the island, as you said, is the camaraderie that genuine people around you have that mm -hmm. I can have with them. Mm -hmm. So like friends, genuine friends yeah. who you can have a laugh with. Yeah. A few you can, you can find out. Oh gosh, few. man. Very, very few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to big up. I want to big up my friend, um, Diane now in Atlanta, Georgia. I want to big up Celia here in Jamaica. Tashana Brown, big up yourself. Yes, Finey. From Akilene, big up yourself, Finey. Like friend and a half, seriously. Finey here <laughs> in Portland, Tony. They are different Finey's, you know. In Portland, Tony. Yeah, man. She... Upper prospect, huh? No, man. Different oh. Finey. Oh. And all this with, with there, styles. I treat Akilene a porty. The one, I can go into breastwork direction. Oh. And all the, the, the fans of styles. Who just be listening? You don't call in really. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't really text in, but you're, you're listening and you're, you know, you're, you think about something for yourself and you say, Yeah, man, I'm true, you know, or no, sir. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I agree with you. Or that is true, man. You know, those people mm -hmm. who keep the show alive, they text in sometimes. 
just them kind of real genuine people there who have something to say Liar and they're gonna people. tell it to your face straight up. So clear me now agree with this and mm. clear no man, clear your bias. Big up to all the fans, the real genuine fans of styles and those of real talk. So you do have people I love I love how we as a people can chit chat and mm. tell off one another your mind tell your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, something you don't know, like something just talk your mind and you mm. get it over with and you're done. Mm. And you're I like the genuine people of my island. Because there are some of them here really sweet and genuine. You ever upset with anyone I, I, I tell me the truth with the person because the then person telling tell you the truth and you just argue with the person and then after already and the person Still. argue again. Yeah, I've yeah. had one or two events like yeah. those, yeah. But you feel that we were I, I was defensive yeah. because I think I had a point to make. Yeah. But I appreciated the fact that the person was able to tell me straight up and they weren't afraid yeah. or not sugarcoating what I what yeah. they think I wanted to hear. Yeah. So I, I can appreciate that. And after really looking to yourself and say, you know, say I'm um, sooner right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and then, the, you know. The people of our island. Yes. The people are the most, the human resources, I think, are the most valuable resources. Mm -hmm. So I treasure the, the genuineness of people, you know, around. Mm -hmm. It makes life... I couldn't, I couldn't manage the, the foreign setting where, as Lisa said, you don't even know your neighbor is there. I, I, I mm -hmm. can't... I mean, yeah. I find myself loving that. At yeah. all, I just go in and come out and just, you know... And if it's not, not only just immediate neighbors, as I said, but friends, just having... <sighs> my but, friend I shouldn't be all the way away from me and I'm only using phone to get in touch with them and God knows when they do get to talk to each other because life just so busy and it's all about the buzz and commuting going on the train and, and, and getting back home going to work and getting back home you know me just what is like here in Jamaica too because me and my, my, my best friend at watch him live yeah, and but you can always jump on. Yeah, but it's different. They can jump on what? They can, they can come up and, and visit. But you, know, you can't can go down and you visit. You can't live in Miami and, and, and your friend there, Orlando, you just drive up the same way. Yeah, them driving there, some long driving what my you youth. Driving some, three hours driving look that. here, man. Look here. I'm going to drive two hours to go down and watch it. What is the difference? It's just, it just different. It's a different vibration. Something you want to leave out of Miami. And you go somewhere else. Maybe just because like I don't live there, party. but it's just different. But yeah. I love that about Jamaica. And oh. I, you know, as you say, mm. you can go and mm. go pick yeah. fruit yeah. off a tree. You like the thing, you yeah. know what you like? <laughs> you like the thing where you can walk up and down and where you walk ago. You can stop and look at chit chat with smile. You're not know, <laughs> you know, fine that in a United States. I don't have to be going up yourself. far away and, yeah. and praying that, okay, where I live, I have drive. a vehicle, right? Yeah. Or um, everything, but okay, the train. Yeah. And I don't really like. The the tree. Tree. Yeah. No, when it's empty, fine. But when it's loaded, oh yeah. God, man. Uh, and they stop at every stop. I took the train from Brooklyn to Bronx already. I mean, I tell yeah. you, boy, I could I never reach? So stop, stop every minute. So stop, stop. And it just, everybody on the train just stiff. Look, looking, looking straight ahead of them. You just, just feel this kind of coldness. I can't manage that. Mm. So for Jamaica, for me, Jamaica, at home, I love that genuineness. That the people have. You never used to drive drive on country bus, got town back in them time. Never? Yeah. Drive on like a. But even on the country you know? bus, yeah. you'll find it people stops, stops, that. Not so much, man. Yeah. No, man. It's just different. I want coldness, me I talk about. Oh. One, and coolness, one coolness. Now, I don't mean okay. temperature wise, I mean. Yeah. People, unless. People, they're not attacked, they're not sit down and have just, anything over their yeah, ears. Yeah, then just. Yes. Right? Ah, and nobody's a man who won't be and go with them ago. Yeah. No, but there's yeah. not feel uh, the energy oh. there. No, them people they pan them train it uh, in the United States. Where them I gonna have to talk to you about? <laughs> eh? Different nationalities <laughs> and, and different kinds. You know me I talk about. I don't like it. They're Jamaican. And then you're there. Jamaicans. You're there, and you're just really fearful. You feel yeah. a sense of fear, yeah. an air of fear around you. You watch too much you. movie, man. No, man. <laughs> you watch too I much sometimes movie, wonder. Man. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. when I step not out there, so. Man. When no, I step up on the road, anyway, if <laughs> the building never does come Nobody does strap, man. You know? Nobody does strap up, man. I end up on the train and you feel like, I wonder if the man does strap up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not to cast any fear in my <laughs> listeners from overseas, though. Can I, I tell you? Easy, okay. I tell you. And, of course, yeah. what, what I hate, what I really hate, is the heinous crimes yeah. that are plaguing our island. Yeah. I think, island, I think that's everybody's, you know, yeah, right now, peeve when mm. it comes on to our little yeah. island. But 
Nevertheless, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful people, generally speaking. The warmest is the people you probably can find are some Jamaicans. You know how to treat people good and take care of you. Yeah? I want to, you know, regardless of the, the, the you see crime I go on and you know, stop with Jamaica and go nowhere. Have fun. We take up yourself, see you and go have fun, see you where. <laughs> and that's how we stay. Real talk. Yeah, real man, talk. for real. Kimoy, yeah. we see locked in. Mm. Um, 598, send us your name, please. Mm. All right, and 412, send us your name as well so we can add those. All right, who else do we have? What's Lisa saying? Um, Cassidy. Hmm. Lisa, that's... Okay, let's go back to what Lisa. Lisa has a whole lot of things telling us tonight. Um, if I see my neighbor, we will say hi. That's it. But don't have an idea what's going on with them. I don't know if they are there or not mm. as a neighbor. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. So Let me tell you. Sometimes I have one month you don't see a neighbor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You want them still live there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't manage that one. Mm -hmm. I can't manage that one. Yeah. That's how you go sometimes. Yeah. But no. you live. My next question. And yeah. my, of course, listeners, if it is that you wish to share, please feel free mm -hmm. to hook us up. Mm -hmm. um, it's 876-453-1444. And overseas is 954-338-7973. Can we have a now in our new year? You know? Yes, we you are. Yeah. We are. And and and, and the, the, the forum is open that the listeners them can call in and say and say anything when they want to say. <laughs> Not anything though. Right? No. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. For the listeners know what I mean. They know, already. they do know. You know they what I'm saying? And let's talk. Let's interact with us tonight. Real talk. Yeah, interact with us tonight. Definitely. You know what I'm anything you want to say, us it open tonight where I, we can just and we just talk. And tell no us. Reason. Tell us. So mm. prestige, my next question to you. Yeah. You know, normally we talk about there are people who don't make resolutions yeah. and there are people who make some. There are people who stick with them when they make them and there are those who don't make any but then they try to adjust and to change as the years go by. Mm -hmm. Now, what one thing would you say about yourself mm -hmm. that you think that somebody else, maybe a spouse, Looks on and say, boy, you know, so I can't manage this with him, though. Mm. That you think you'd want to adjust. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you yes. think within yourself that, yeah. boy, because normally we don't want to talk about ourselves, you It know? is simple. You don't have to say the next word. Yeah. It, it is simple. What that no. Right? I hear this. Communication with me. Oh. Right? That say, the for best instance, communicator. Say, for instance, now I finish work. Mm -hmm. And normally, you know, I'm going to go home. But at the same time, one party I go on mm -hmm. the road, you know. You tap. Me stop and me there at the party. I mm -hmm. take up the phone and say, well, babes, you know, say me go stop and um, join a party. My valley go round and go on. I make a stop for about an hour, hour and a half. Mm. All right? And then we no. One hour pass, two hour pass. Phone call. Boom. What's up, babe? I say, you know, say me join a party. I soon come. Give me about the next... 15 minutes, huh? 15 minutes uh, pass. Can't an next oh. friend pass and come in and <laughs> ray, 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 and uh, till he pass two, three oh hours. Oh boy. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought we need to change about myself. Yeah. Work yeah. on it. Work on well, it. Well, we're going to hold that yeah. thought because it's now 10 o'clock and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Native Audio Stage and Lighting are the sponsors of Real Talk. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 This one is an exclusive It's hype, it's hot, it's scorching Scorching St. Thomas Bonfire River Party Hey, oh, hey, 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 h
event you've been waiting for. Girls Gone Wild. St. Thomas Bonfire River Party. Yeah, yeah, Sunday, yeah, yeah, December 29. Yeah, yeah. Morant River beyond the Petcom gas station. It's hot, it's hype, it's gonna be blazing with musical juggling by Javi Supreme. Little Shaba, Notorious International. DJ Gregor and Lando Ravers alongside our special guest DJs. 100 Family Bonfire River Party. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can't get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a bit, you give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town, town, town. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> Digital tea. Our brain. Uh-huh. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518 2399 to advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399, 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back, guys, to Real Talk. You're listening to DJ Prestige and Lady Cleo on Styles FM Radio. And, you know, we're doing some uh, introspection, really, and looking at things that we know that we have about ourselves. You know, attributes that we display or attitudes that we display, attributes that we have that are not necessarily on the finer side and we don't really often admit them, you know. We know we have these issues and these shortcomings, but we don't really normally want to highlight ourselves so much. Humanly speaking, real talk, we are quicker yeah. to point out that, boy, we can't take when him do this. We can't take when she do that. But what is it that we know so we stay, or we stay, and what we have both where we, we, we want to fix up, but we don't really admit it on a real talk tonight. So, DJ Prestige said he needs to be able to communicate better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, little communication. You're not, you're, not, you're not giving no update as to where you are, but to keep the person more relaxed, you know, it's good when you can communicate so that God forbid anything were to happen, but at least this person would know mm. somebody were to come to you or in a little emergency, they would know how to get you or they know that, okay, I can't call him no because he's in this situation, so he can't. You know, it, it's good to let your loved ones know, you know, what's happening with you. Because all things I got to, you know, you need to let them know, keep, keep check. And in, you have to always be spilling out. And I don't want people to get it wrong. When I say... Let your loved ones know, know your whereabouts and mm. what you're doing and where you are. You don't have to call every minute to say, I am here. Oh, I left, I left, I left the, the bar, you know, and I stopped on a, you know. Mm-hmm. But as I said, the time factor. Mm-hmm. If you see where the time is getting longer, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, send a message. Take out the phone. And yeah, and message. say something, you know, all right. Say, you know? Soon coming up. Nobody feels me now, whatever. Me, me stop again and whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So it, it, that's important. Yes. Very important. Very much so. So... 
What is it about your spouse that you think you want to change? Think about that one. Cassidy, huh, the ball on you now. What about yourself? You know <coughs> say want some fix up. <laughs> what behavior? What attitude? You think that, why? I'm so too quiet, Selena Star. She said, I'm not talking talk enough, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that too? Oh, possibly. <laughs> All right. Mm. So, what about you? No, I'm going. I'm coming to me, brother. I'm coming mm. to me. Mm. Oh boy. If some people are listening, they say, mm. "What a way she talk truth." Why, Cassie? They get out your phone and why? Because <laughs> it's going to be. You know what I mean? A lot. I think what I would need to work on yeah. is. <clears throat> I'm more than one something still, but <laughs> that strong will mm. attitude. Not too controlling. <coughs> Not da, controlling. Da, 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 but I'm strong will, you know. Yeah. I'm very stubborn. Very I can stubborn. be stubborn. Yeah. And if I believe and hold on to something, yeah. I'm mean, gonna really I let it go so yeah. easily. Say the thing, man, can read the turn off. No matter you need a radio. No matter you need a radio. No, I'm strong with virtue and, yeah. and stubborn. Yeah. And it's not my fault, you know, his mommy mm. gave it to me. Yes. Miss Janet, how you do? Mm. <laughs> Good night, mommy. She gave me that. Yes. Because I saw she stay. Yeah. She all up on something. Yeah. Not letting it go. Don't put no blame on mommy, man. I, I fear I found Leave mommy alone. It wasn't me. <laughs> it <laughs> wasn't me. Don't put no piece of the battery. <laughs> but. Finish on the radio. But. So the radio not on. <laughs> being, being not, not being so, um, Firm headed. Yeah. I mean, I like. Why you can't use the word? I like firm headed. Yeah. I like firm headed. Yeah, like firm headed. Firm headed is, <laughs> firm -headed firm is -headed, good. Yeah. But sometimes it, <laughs> yeah. it's good. Sometimes. Yes. But uh -huh. sometimes you can lay back to and listen to another yes. person's That's true. view, mm. and without getting defensive mm -hmm. or without thinking that, but but without any buts. Just say, uh, okay, mm. let me try this mm. way. Let me yeah, try well, it. Can you hold on to your... Yes, yes. I hold on. I your, hold on. Yeah. Her, yeah. Okay, okay. I hold on. Yeah. And hmm, I find that... Wait, 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 it's not a bad thing because mm -hmm. if it is that you have an issue with me, I really prefer mm. you come and tell me straight up. Mm. I don't like when you... But don't try to offend me or insult me by doing it publicly or mm. openly or disrespectfully i get i'll get defensive on that and i'm even if i'm even if i'm wrong you're never gonna hear me say oh you know so, and so. it's all about the how you do the thing that's for true. me it's a how that's true i don't know if that's a bad thing but no the that's main not a bad one thing. would be strong will yeah. and firm it's like today i was driving and i asked a friend of mine you, <laughs> I was driving was in today. A, you was in a vehicle. Mr. Bassman, that driver on the steering, my youth. What happened to you? Eh? What happened to you? Cassie. Uh, she, I, I thought. Uh, 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 I, I thought I heard. You sound like Daddy Clio. Road. Clear. You sound like Daddy Road, you were in a vehicle. Right? You were in the. Yeah. Once a minute, the passenger side, right? That you yeah. want to try and say. A couple months ago, me, me, me sure, me here, you, you met that New Year's resolution. Say, go, nosy neighbor. Drive. You being a nosy neighbor yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 drive before <laughs> 2020. You're being a nosy. Who said yeah. that? For 2020 coming. You, you, you did learn to drive. Learn? Yeah. You have big drive a long time. All right. You're right. Because eh? to oh, Well, I don't think about go there. Drive but car. Car we're talking about motor vehicle. I'm, motor a, vehicle I'm an excellent about. driver. Yeah. Of every vehicle except big trucks. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, I, was, I was driving you know, a I friend of mine. Big truck, uh, nah, no, nah, no, no, not too big. Yeah. The tractors, no way. No, you can't man and glam. I can manage a truck, but not the tractors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the tractor, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so today I was driving a yeah. friend of mine. You're not special license for the tractor. And he said. <laughs> There, there was a barrier in the roadway, yeah. and they put up some signs, yes, which Summer is Stone. the no entry, I think. Summer Stone. But I didn't see any no entry there. I just saw the red thing with the white line across the middle. Yes. And he said, you can't go down there. Yeah. He was yeah. constantly saying that. And I said, yeah. why not? Yeah. Because of the sign. I said, no, I don't see a sign. All I see is, <clears throat> I, see the, I see the post, but you should see on it, yeah. no entry. It don't have to be. For me, if you took, you see, if you about took now, the, the driver's license, like, if you took the driver's license test, long time ago, long time ago, I remember, right? I remember the book everything say. is there. 
Well, I was expecting to see no entry. But the for signs me, are there. so I said to him, yeah. I didn't see it. Oh. So I'm going. Because where I wanted to go was to go back on the seaside. Yeah, and you want to go up on Bridge Street. And you can't yes. Go on Street, and and he's telling more. me. Yeah. He's telling me. Yeah. But is a sign there? Is a sign there too? I don't see any sign. No, see one is sign. there with, with, with that crossing like that. And the sign is there. I the saw side. a. a, a what is a sure. sign doing sure. up on the sure. Pesa? Arrow, arrow, arrow. What is a yeah. sign doing up on a Pesa? I don't get that. You know the on the Pesa? Yes, it's no. on the Pesa. No. One on the left, one on the right. Yeah, but it's not on the Pesa. One on the left. Close. I said on the Pesa. No, it's close. That's a ridiculous spot. But it, 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 so anyways, I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it. But you see, so I said to him. You know, you know, about it with you, right? Mm -hmm. It's thing about it with you, with the sign. You know, say the person, right? Mm -hmm. Who have a driver's license, so I can't read and write, know what the sign they mean. I didn't see the but, sign. Wait, no, but the person who can read and write, don't know what the sign means yeah. because they don't say, do not enter upon it. Yeah. But if you just say, do not I enter, you could have read it and say, do not enter. But if a person I, who cannot I've read and write, say, do not enter upon it, you never know what I mean. I've seen the sign and know what it means. Yeah. But that day, I never see the sign. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Marvin. <laughs> Go on, Marvin. <laughs> I just didn't see the sign because I'm saying, I don't see why I can't go that way to go on there. So hey, I have easily you know, to go way. way up the road. Yeah, to when go, did it become yeah. a one way? Um, did they before inform the, us? Before the, before the holiday. Were we informed? This is what, and how Jamaican stay. And what they do in Jamaica here, especially with. Any changes they are going to make in Jamaica, you they're don't not just in farmers. Do that. Just like when they're going to spray the place, right? Somebody I don't hear them sometimes telling somebody us. Somebody tell them spray the place, right? Without them in farmers. They're going to turn off the water, you hear nothing. They're going to turn off the light, you hear Why nothing. Really know. So then just change things and then I'm let nobody know what's going on. So I strong willed and I said, I'm going here. So and he kept to? saying, Of course I went through there. Yeah. But yes. you're not supposed to. Because if he's in the vehicle and he's an experienced driver than that's you, the and tell word. you don't go through there. I couldn't see why because I should have. I just told you about the strong will sometimes that is a bad thing. Yeah, Remember? If you meet in an accident, How are come? you wrong? How come? It's a one way. It has always been a one way. No. And two vehicles got to one from there. No. It, no. A one way that simply means that only one way you can drive on that road. But I didn't know. Yeah. I just told you I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. So you'd have to go down Summerstone. I know I'm not going down Summerstone. Another day I'll know to go around. So you're one of them who just break rules. I don't break the rules. I just didn't I'm know. Great, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> and he said, Lord Jesus. <laughs> My friend was like, must have Lord Jesus. Mercy. Must have God, so, anything God, we have come so. fast. Anything we have come fast. And lick up in a, you know, you know, you know, dead. They wouldn't lick up. Yes. No. That's not a road to drive fast on. It's a very slow, narrow road. But the, the person knows it's a one way, and some of these taxi drivers know it's a one way, so Ch they're not looking for anything coming Tell down there. Tell me about the taxi drivers. My God. To all the good taxi men out there, pick up on yourself. So next, this time you Jesus. know, no, now you know, say so you're not to drive down there. I won't another time, but that's yes. today I didn't know. <laughs> Marvin, what are you typing about me? Why couldn't me a come up when you're going down? <laughs> eh? In clear? <laughs> Why couldn't it be me? Marvin doesn't like me at all, yeah. I can tell. Talk truth clear. You're very controlling. Yeah. I'm not controlling. I just speak my mind and I'm strong will. Marvin, prestige, give it up. Give up your fight. You're fighting. A winner. Give it up. You're fighting a winless battle. <laughs> <laughs> you are so right, Marvin. Yeah. Because oh, you could do what she could do. And I just see that. Yeah. <laughs> Another. Yeah. I, it's, I don't know where that yeah. comes from. It's mommy, yeah. you know. Like yeah. I said, it's mommy. I'm I know she's gonna, if she's listening now, she's going to cuss me for that yes. one. Um, yeah, put the blame for her. <laughs> I wanted to drive one particular evening. Yes. And my companion in the vehicle would not allow me to drive. Oh. And I could not understand why yeah. 
I wasn't allowed to drive that particular evening because yeah. I wanted to. I really wanted. I felt yeah. like driving. Yes. That was before, you know, so I yeah. said driving, driving, driving. Yes. And I was told, no. Not today. Not now. And the night before I drove, the days before I drove, all of a sudden this particular night when the road clear, I'm hearing no. My Bex, you know. Mm-hmm. Bex, bad, 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 bad. Spoil. He said I was spoiled. But I'm not spoiled. But I was just upset. Mm-hmm. How could you not let me drive? How would you spoil this planet, your boy? Why wouldn't you let me drive? What do you mean, let you drive? And then... Yeah. I the said, man must have a reason. I said, okay, you don't let me drive? Yeah. You don't let me do what I want to do? Yeah. Then you ain't going to get me to do what you want me to do. Boy, I peep in a problem. And... I tell you <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad thing. I'm gonna change, you know. I'm gonna change. Yes, you have put to put on, put on your seatbelt. Yes, because they're all about safety first. Yes. No, you're, and I'm I like, said no. No, I'm not putting on a seatbelt. No, you ain't gonna crash with yourself. So we're gonna, why are you gonna crash with me in there? Not no going happen. Not going happen. Uh uh-uh. uh. And I, I, I knew <laughs> that they would have been <laughs> irritated <laughs> because. True. Yeah. Well, somewhat irritated because yes. they would prefer if I had on the seatbelt, anything yeah. were to go wrong, God forbid, then I have on my seatbelt. So they believe in that. But because me no say, the only thing we can ever get back at if I'm making me drive is just not put it on. Yeah. I mean, put it on. No. You, you need a man like, I, I, show a man like me if you deal with <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to tell you, you no, know what? To be honest, you don't within want... myself, you know, yeah. within myself, I say, you know you should put on your seatbelt, right? Yeah. I knew I should, but I just I'm just trying to confess, guys, it's the end of the year. I'm just confessing that we sometimes have some of the things that we need to work on. Like that's one of them. So before January come, you have a change. I'm working on it. Yeah. As you said, New Year's resolution. It's a slow process. What? It's a slow working process. Just to put your seatbelt out when you go in the vehicle? Not that. You have to think about that? No, not that part. Yeah. The, the whole Aspect of being controlling. No, stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to use that word, don't you? I tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, yeah. there, there, there are times when we think to ourselves mm-hmm. because, to be honest, I, I, I believe in being the better version of myself every day. Yes. We should try to be the better version of ourselves. Yeah. And with our thoughts, mm-hmm. our actions. Mm-hmm. You know, things that we, we, we do. Mm-hmm. And so I try to be the best, mm. a better version each day. And in a relationship, we grow to learn about each other mm-hmm. every day. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know, see? Real talk. And that part of you, you know, is something yeah. we just can just wipe off and out of the relationship like that, but it just take time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take, you to take a good while with you. <laughs> <laughs> You get some like some 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 clothes where hard to die. You don't get that for mommy. You don't get that for mommy. You don't get that for mommy. No sir, you don't get that for mommy. You don't get that for mommy. Marvin, why are you being so not nice? <laughs> Marvin, not nice tonight at all. Now there are aspirations that you have, I'm sure. Relationship-wise, yeah. tell us one of those great aspirations that you have. And of course, as he takes a sip, just reminding you that the phone lines are open. You can share, call in and share. We have another area that we want you to really participate in later on as we go through. Just a message here quickly. Big up, bright eye taxi driver. Big up, my brethren, Andre. Fresh from Miami. Where are you, sir, man? Miami. Big up yourself. All right. Yes. So, yeah. What is that? You know, thing, that little thing. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. What little mm-hmm. thing? Mm-hmm. What little thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what little thing? Mm-hmm. You want know, some things in here tonight. Yes. You know? <laughs> I want to. What is that <laughs> thing that you're looking for, that boy? You know, for the new year? Yeah. I want her mm-hmm. to, to start doing this, to start giving me that. To start no. putting things this no. way. All right. What, what wait, is it wait, that yeah, you want to see changes? Trust. If it's even one trust. thing. Just, just trust me. Just, just trust you and yeah. relax. And relax. Yeah. I like easygoing yeah. person. Yeah. Just trust me and just relax. You know, for yourself. Bother, yeah. Bother about, about some things. things where not really necessary for yourself. But yes. You get me I say? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? 
Just relax. Just relax. Mm. And make things flow. Simple Real as that. Talk. Yeah. Real talk. Cassidy. What is that thing you want to see, moms? Just work. Just, just, just adjust. Just fit differently. What you want her to start doing? Start giving you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why you have to laugh when you say giving? <laughs> what, what would you want? What's your ultimate thing for, for the new year from moms? Because I, I, I need to ask you what you want overall. Mm-hmm. But from, from the, the, the empress that mm-hmm. you're, you, you, you consider your empress, mm-hmm. what would you want to see? Because I just asked you guys about what you want to change. So there must be something else or there might be something else that you're looking at, you know? I would love if she did this more or differently or change so this can give a, or adjust that. Cassidy can give you an Cassidy can give you an answer. Even though in, in, if him don't have a personal uh, impress, he just can't give you an answer. I'm just saying. I mean, I know. Know he must still. have a personal chick. But, but I'm just saying. Come in know if you Why is he laughing at me? Eh, we don't we don't know. Nose, your nose never no more than you. Know? Nose in neighbor with what? Your nose in neighbor no more than me and no, you. No, I'm just saying. Because he's <laughs> a guy in just quiet. Quiet? Yeah. Silent river, you know. You get me, I say? Quiet. Yeah, ha- probably has too many girls to, to, to respond. Mm. He doesn't, he's not sure. <laughs> he can give you an answer. I guess he can, guess he can give you an answer. Let me not until. put him in any trouble tonight, you see? I, you? Let me, lady out there listening, mm. I don't know. I am just talking here. here. Do mm. not put my engineer into mm. any trouble about not worry about girls. That's please. the reason why I, mean, I said that to you. Because Cassidy can just give you an answer. Yes. Right? At if in case. Mm-hmm. In just <laughs> like give you an answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Marvin, I want to know what you want to change about yourself. What would you want to change about yourself? Lisa. Mm. Kimoy. Mm. Lisa in Cottage, Cottage Lane. Yard vibes. Good yeah. night, Lady Cleo. We love bonding, she says. What would you like, Lisa, to, you know what I mean? Mm. Change about yeah. your... Yourself. Yourself. And it in Duck and Feel locked in as well. What would mm. you want to change about mm. you? Sadie, mm. talk to me. Yeah. The phone lines are open, 876-453-1444. Mm. And overseas, it's 954-338-7973. Share, because you never know. You just might help somebody else out mm. there. Yeah? Mm. Who mm. is tuned in? All right, this one says, uh, Lady Cleo, Happy New Year when it comes. Okay, mm. word. And I wish for all the best for Stars family mm. worldwide. Looking for word. Looking forward to a great year. Indeed, Mama Sadie. Indeed. Thank you so very much much now marvin is typing so let me see what marvin is saying hmm. oh boy here is my next question what would you be willing to give up prestige mm-hmm. or quit <clears throat> yeah whether you're being compensated for it or not what would, we, would you be willing to quit or give up to ensure that so your spouse is comfortable and happy. What you're willing to give up, sacrifice, just for your spouse. What you're willing to sacrifice for your spouse. Hmm. Da da di. Nothing I have not for sacrifice. Me no, it has to go good. Me no, it has to so. Yeah. So me no know. Me nothing me have not for sacrifice. If you were to give up something. Yeah. Yeah? Like what? So me not, me not see Anything. Not give up. Some of eh? your love dearly. Eh? Me can't give up that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't give up that, man. Oh boy, eh? you sure? Yeah. Me can't give up that. Can't give up that. The no. drinking? Drinking? No, me not drink a lot. <laughs> you not drink, drink a lot. lot. No, me not drink a lot. Well, let's see what Marvin says. Not drink a lot. Marvin says yeah. draw closer to God yeah. and leave the one and m- one and move lifestyle. Oh, how we say? Draw closer to God and leave the one and move. Yes, Marvin, yeah. it's true. Leave the one and move lifestyle and quit trying to bring another female in the bedroom. Lord, yeah. Daddy. Real talk, yeah, Marvin. Real yeah. talk. Work on it, brother. Work on it. Mm-hmm. 
one arm move now. Yeah. Come on, this daddy rule and this one arm move mm -hmm. thing from last week. Yeah, so he's willing to, he, he would be willing to make that kind of sacrifice. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Me not see, me not see, me not see anything right now. Mm. But me not really give up. Me neither. You get me? I say, me serious. <laughs> yeah. No and then because if me I go out, right, and if me a mom I go out, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And we got one of them, you know, um, pub, and go sit down and just have a little one drink mm -hmm. and roll back home. You know what I mean? Please take the last money you have. Yeah. Um, let us say you go, you went out and you really take the last money you have just to ensure that she's comfy yeah. and buy her something really nice and go and broke pocket. Yeah. You would do that? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Because maybe if me not do that, be, be night you, in a misery. Would you give up? <laughs> would, be warm, would, you, <laughs> <laughs> would you give up certain material wealth mm. just to ensure that she's comfortable? Anything to make your relationship work and to make your anything other pa listen a house listen a car listen your money anything anything to make your relationship right work are you happy but but bright yeah right? where you know pipe blank you know where you know pipe blank you can live without without okay you get me that, that's that's the, that's the disclaimer right there so you can, can live without it you can live without it but is that a sacrifice then you know what I say? Is that really a sacrifice then? It, you know, that's no sacrifice. It's a, if you, can, if you, can't you have live no points to give up some. If you can live without it. <laughs> you get me? Right, I yeah, I gave yeah. up gave up his money to buy a to sell a car yeah. for the look after the look after the, the girlfriend. Yeah. That walked away. Yeah. So that that that, 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 that you, a vanity that you can't get back that again. So you're saying, yeah. well, you just said mm. if you're able to do without it. That's no sacrifice, yeah, but, brother. But you can't live without it too. You can't live without a vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. You can't leave it out a vehicle. Devoy. Let's see what Devoy is saying before the break. Blessed all I thought. Yeah. Blessed last real talk for the year, peeps. Uh, at an event, so not locked in tonight, but, but, wanna beg a quick, fast load up for the young lady from Hartford, Portland. Oh man, I didn't remember that event. And asking everyone that can come out to, oh, it's tomorrow. And support the fundraising cook all for the lunch for the much needed medical attention she's in need of. Mm -hmm. Please and thanks. Thank you very much for the reminder. Mm -hmm. The void. Thanks very much for the reminder. And definitely we will have a conversation. Yeah. All right, big up yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying, you can give up a car, right? To buy a, <laughs> to buy a house. You see me I say? Yeah. Give up a car. To put two as a house, mm -hmm. we're not gonna live happily in a. But with, with, say, with all the with, uncertainties that are around in these relationships these days, yeah. would you be willing to do that? Yeah, why not? Put a mm. roof over your head. Mm. Men are still doing those things. So you'd rather me and I live in the car? No, certainly not. Are we living in a rent house? So you're one of those men from the old school who who would be willing to make make those sacrifices for a woman to be happy? Then I'm here and I happy. Oh, wow. And I like a she alone, I'm going to make happy. I'm the old school. I'm here and I happy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I will give up a car for that. Real talk. Wow. Yeah. Donald. What is Donald saying? Big up Lady Clear and Prestige. Big ups to you too. Just coming in from Kingston. Dialysis treatment today. Mm. Oh, okay, Donald. How are you feeling, my brother? I hope you're good. I hope you're feeling better. And I do hope that, you know, the treatment works and you feel stronger and better as we move into 2020. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Marvin says, general. see, it's all about sacrifice because I am in a very good relationship. I don't want to lose and I'm willing to sacrifice, give up, etc. That's very sweet, Marvin. Very, very nice. So, and when, 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 me when, say, when me say no sweet? I did not say no. That's sweet too. The sound surreal. But why everything me say? Right? <laughs> why, why me? Everything me say. It just sounds. It I know believe. one man it would never believe. go there again. Dan, Dan, <laughs> not Dan, Dan. Oh, why? bright guy. Why? Not going back down that road. Yeah. Good night to you both. Wish the man <laughs> that I have mm. just be truthful and stop lie. Mm. And for me, yeah. will stop accuse you 
as him. Okay. We'll stop uh, for me. We'll stop accuse you. Okay. So I guess she wants the guy that she's with to just stop lying. Stop lying all the time. Just be truthful. And I guess for her, she would stop accusing him. But because you tell the lies, yeah. brother, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult for this woman to, yeah. you yeah. know. So I know where she's coming from, but at least she honestly should want to stop accusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although some truth we don't really... Oh, she's talking about her boyfriend. Yeah, some truth we don't know if we really mm -hmm. want to hear it my time still. Mm -hmm. Some truths. Yeah. Just, if you can handle it, deal with it. But if you can't handle it, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Don't go. So why is it? Why is it? She think the guy you tell lie all the time. She would because have had. Some, yeah. She would have had her reasons, no doubt. Yeah, but there's a woman to where just just not have not 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 trusting as some men, right? And just feel like something happened before, and they still hold on to that same way, and still have that person on a level there, and not have that trust in that person no more. Like, and can't let go after that. Hmm. For real. <laughs> yeah. If you say you're going outside, you yes. soon come back, right? It's like face makeup, all them kind of things. Eh? You, you know? All that thought. Uh, we are on the 10.30 break. Lisa says, I would like to start to go to work early. <laughs> Good one, Lisa. Work on it, honey. Work on it. <laughs> it's now 10.32. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Nassal, they sponsor Real Talk. We will return after the break. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Saturday, December twenty eighth. It's the fourth stage of Point More Music Fest for the culture at UDC Car Park, Point More. Showtime six pm. Featuring Loot and Fire, Sean Paul, Ching Ching Ching, Water, I Wave, Bushman, General B, The Angel, Erupt, Don Youth, I'm a Player, Star Boy, Mega Band and Basket Mix, Kush God and more. Get your tickets at York Pharmacy, Venus Pharmacy, Total Gun Robin, Total Harbor View, and I Told You Life. Or get your online tickets at firstinlineja.com. Here's your Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's showing you with the voice of DJ Prince, your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, E-Tour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special D-Tour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles of them. The world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shelly. How come you not seen or hear you since you start building your house? Update me now. Well, Cleo, it's almost ready. I'm about to add the final touches. But I have problems getting the best selections at the best prices. Well, my dear, CIB has the final touch sale just for you. you. This and every second Saturday and Sunday of the month. Get massive savings up to 20% off a wide range of tiles and mosaics. Plus, big discounts, palm basins, scarlet windows, doors and paints. Cleo, what you really say? Up to 20% off? There is more. To make your house look and feel like a home. CIB has up to 50% off houseware and linen. So what about delivery? No worry about that. Them offer free delivery on orders over $50,000. Cleo, this has got to be the best news all year. Lucky thing that they buck you up. Yes, DIB final touch sale now on. Starting Saturday and Sunday, July 13 and 14. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. 
audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Real Talk it is on Styles FM with DJ Prestige and Lady Cleo. And oh boy. We're talking about sacrifices that you would be willing to give up and mm. make for your spouse. Not just for 2020, no. but for beyond. You know, what it is that, uh, uh, that you would want to give up, that you would be willing to give up. If anything, would you make sacrifices? What would you really give up to ensure that your partner is happy? And what w- would you want to do to ensure that you do some changes to yourself, to self? For the new year. It doesn't have to be about your spouse alone. It could be work-related. Like Lisa says she wants to start to go to work early. <laughs> and many people are, are, are I'm sure, thinking, um, well, have that one. Um, uh, the odds are against them with that. Mm. They don't really find themselves getting up and pushing and going as they should. So on a real note, that's a real talk, Lisa. Big and serious. Big up yourself. All right, sacrifices that you'd be willing to make. I would be willing to give up. Huh. Hmm. Um, but some material things. Ensure, for example, if you we're together and there's something that you need, really, really need it, or if it's health related, and my material wealth or material gain and possession can be sold yeah to earn the diamond rings and your chains and stuff like yeah, that yeah if i were to have those and they can be sold to give to get you help i'm gonna do it if i have to go on the road with a pan and genuinely ask for assistance to save you or to help you i would pride never come in there so you know, I'll do, on a normal day, you won't see me on the road begging with a pan. And if it is that we are seeking funding for a worthy cause, fine. But if it comes on to somebody that I really, really care about and have to do pretty much any sacrifice to, to, to make them comfy or to, to survive, then... I don't know. I think I, I would have an, had an out about the experience of just saying, okay, this is because I have to ensure that I do the best I can to make sure that he or she stays alive or if I can do something to save them, I'm going to do it. Yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah. Who is this? Him send me accuse him of things he's not doing and things them him and... <clears throat> Things he's not doing. The things them me accuse him of down the road, me find out me was not accusing him. It was true. Uh oh. So you're saying he's lying. So she's saying she accused him of sin and he's saying, Why are you accusing me? Stop accusing me because I'm not doing anything. Mm-hmm. But then when she found out, do you have concrete proof though? Because finding out can be somebody telling you, you know, that person could be lying too. Mm-hmm. I mean, not saying him not truthful, or he is, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But you have to look at all the pros and the cons because even when somebody comes and say, My girl, may I tell you, I say, No, him and her son talk. We see them 10 times from where they So they must there. That kind of thing, you know? Proof really suggests you're, you're caught the person with your own two yai. Mm-hmm. And you're see. Without a shadow of a doubt that <clears throat> this is what happened. Because yeah. I saw her up there so and he was down there so <laughs> and me sure say I saw. You know, so if you don't have any proof then Yeah. Girlfriend, I don't know, I don't know. Talk to him and see how best you can work it out because trust is very, very important. Very, very, very important. Now, 
How do you know when you really, really love somebody? Or somebody that really love you, rather? Are they willing to do anything for you? And do you say, if you can't do this for you, then don't love you? Is, is that fair? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Marvin says, prestige, be honest. Can you really see Cleo giving anything up without a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Why is Marvin attacking um, Radisha tonight? Marvin, it's Christmas. Be kind. Be caring. <laughs> but Marvin, I mean, she would have give up anything. I would she give up. She said she would walk with a pan. No, I said I would give up. Go, go. I said I would walk with. She said walk with a pan because look money. She not give up nothing. I Our would pride? give up material. My pride is something. Eh? Eh? Yes, that's something. Eh? She not give up money. She not walk with her pride. Forget donation. And if I had and the she money. Give up. She have her diamonds them and her rings. Them I and would her, sell she, them if I had to. Nothing. She not walk with her pan. She said she not walk with her pan. I would give that yeah. up. I would give up my clothes and shoes. Sell want, them. Eh. To get money to look after you. If I had to. Eh. Yes, I would. That means you have to go stay naked. And naked, you have to stay naked because all of your clothes are going to sell and you still now can't get for LP. You get me? Yeah, you have to be one of them, like Michael Jackson. Oh, and God. one of them people that Elizabeth Taylor. Have a caller on 453. <laughs> Hello, caller. Good night. This is good night to you. Hi, Bright Yai. Happy holidays. How you doing? I'm glad I'm here, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I wish you all the best for 2020, my dear. Ah? Uh -huh. All the best for 2020. Yes, and same to you and beyond. Not 2020 alone for you and beyond. Definitely. Yeah. But, but I have a question for you. Yeah, man, shoot it up now. What would you want to change about yourself for the new year? All right, you see what we want to change now? Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend have to change something for me to change. Oh. Yeah, when I want to change now, you see, first of all, to the right side of me, you know, and I want you wish her happy birthday. You understand me? Happy birthday, girlfriend. Happy birthday, girlfriend. Happy birthday. <laughs> Can't pay for that bright eye. Yeah. So what you want to have a change now? Good night, man. Hello. Hello, pretty lady. How are you? Oh, you're on air on your Real name? Talk. What's your name? Hello, Miss Bright Eye. Can we call her Miss Bright Miss Eye? Miss Bright Eye. Yeah. Yes. Um, how are you enjoying the holidays? Okay. Mm. Bright Eye, treating you nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tell us what you want him to change for the new year. Miss Hello, clear. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> where you talking about the phone for the ladies a quick phone? It's easy. Don't no, 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 say everything for me, my girl. Yeah, so Bright Eye, what do you want her to change? Don't no, 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 say all the thing, you know, man. What? <laughs> you must say all the thing for me, yeah. What you want her to change? Tell me. All right. I want when we come in at night time. Mm hmm. I'm going to put it on wheel. Mm hmm. The puppy tail. Right now, wild. Right? Uh, me want, me don't want to get them, but you want to sleep. Because, because I push, still push me a road. Oh. Uh, you, know, you, know, you, see, you see when me got that girl on the road? Mm -hmm. Then They're not telling me, so they want to sleep. Oh. But bright eye. Bright eye. I jump on the frog march. Then send on them style up on Bright Eye. Bright. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Bri <laughs> bright Eye. Yeah. She, does she work? Yeah, man, she works. So she's tired sometimes, Bright Eye. So Bright Eye not work too? Yeah, work sometimes. Yes. Yes, she's tired sometimes, but I only want she want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so Bright Eye. No, no, no. Hey, well, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. No oh, one when we come in. Mm -hmm. Most time we tell us the boy, yeah, me know my girl. Like, I go for one chance and I like, got some people. Like, got some people got one dead yard. Yes. And the girl. 
We are giving me the vibe. Right? Jesus. Yes. And the girl, we are giving me the vibe. Me gone to. But Jesus. And when time, me, me and the girl gone out now, I'll, I'll, I'll me and the girl rub up and so I'll see me can't include the come give it the wash the rings out. Eh, Jesus. So, no one tears and things there. Yes. Who oh, want to be a better youth in a relationship more and more nice to her? Yes. But if she not tears, that's me, keep me. That's me a girl road. A girl road. So, why not get some toys to help you? Eh? Get some, get one dolly for help you, one toy, something for help you. Get one what? When I toy them, what they have for men. Toy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait, what are you to me? Toy? <laughs> but that, but Brighty, you're calling it Dandan. Brighty, if she can't manage you, because maybe you're giving her the stallion something she can't manage all evening, the, the long distance to her something. So maybe you could get a toy to assist you that when she can't manage, you help yourself. No, no, man. I work at that. I work at that. We are clear. Clear. It was a it was a bright guy running taxi, right? And more time, I sit around me staring. I don't know what's up. I be driving all in my back. My back want to go rub out. Oh. I want to go massage. Okay. I mean, I beg my girlfriend do that, and she tell me that boy to watch close today. She watch because she does to clean out. And when we got the girl out on the, the side, and when she watch about four lines of clothes, she not tell bright lines they tired. Oh. So she needs to cheers up them things there. So where you bring the money when you when you work the money? Who you get the money? The one where I help you rub your foot or the one where you want to sleep? No, man. I see the one I have to carry the money come get. Well, that road is a man. She said that for me, not that money for me. Okay, so you spend back pan she too. That's very good. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's... So you're saying if she does free up some more, free up the things some yeah, more, man. you will yeah, change man. certain things. Yeah, man. I want to change something. I want to change the chain. Yes. You still have a road clear. Oh. I hear you, sir. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. Yes, sir. I say yeah. And you, and you know clear, you don't even change that little rule inside where yeah, about you. Little what? <laughs> You need to like a dictate style. You understand me? Like where you say, I'm trying to go. <laughs> the controlling, controlling thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't always say that. Huh? I don't always do that. Yeah, man. Like what you say is law. Yeah. <laughs> Are you say you go? Yes. If that's a no go, you're, you're happy go. <laughs> it's a bright eye, listen long yeah. time though. Yeah, listen long time, bright eye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, we look up. Why do I look up here? Why look up music up here? Big up yourself. Every time, then? Yeah, man, keep it locked, all right? Yeah. And more love and blessings, bright eye. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, yeah? All right, my brother. I wish you all my happy new year when it comes. Press you. Pick up yourself, my dad. And of course, thanks for making real talk, real talk throughout the year, I tell you. Yeah, man. You get up on yourself. I want to ask me that for style, yeah? We put up in my house, yeah? As soon as we get them, you will be first to get one. Yes, my love. All right, that's it. <laughs> Big, yeah. Mess up yourself. Big up yourself every time. <laughs> right, uh, enjoy uh, your holiday. Right, Yai has been listening to the show from night. Mm. Right, I take me on proper this evening. <laughs> so, Cleo, nice black woman, big up yourself. Happy holidays. Taxi sugar. How are you? I say taxi sugar. Big up your sweet self. <laughs> black and proud every time, no bleaching around here. So, Donald. Hi, Donald. Where you been, my brother? Mm, you know, you know, we heard know. one little message from Knight. That was yeah. it. Mm. He's just locked in again. Boy, Cleo, you're one in a million. Mm. Women like you no born yet. Mm. And their mother dead. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you, Donald, for that compliment. Yeah. Yes. Then I'll have some talking of female that you know. I tell you, I'm if it's easy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, sir. It's easy. Definitely <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, 
But, you know, as he said that, I think mm. he was referring to when I said I would sell yes. stuff that I have. Mm -mm. But genuinely, yeah. you know, you see, if you and I are together in no more prestige, for example. Yeah. And, 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 you know, sometimes the treatment you get, not every woman do it, but m most women, I think, do mm. it. You're, it's easy, easy to reciprocate. Not, not, not that you're doing something to get something in return, but we're all humans, yeah? Yes. And if I treat you good, mm -hmm. then I would expect the same in return. That's true. And when we start looking at life that way, what I want for myself, give it to the other person, things will be so different. Call her on the 453. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. <laughs> Hello. That Lady Cleo, big up yourself. Big up yourself too, Donald. How you doing? Uh, you're tired. I can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down for the machine and your blood come out. I yeah, go back to him for four hours. Oh. And then you have to drive two hours, go on two hours, come back. You must tired. Oh, you know? my goodness. Why don't you get a driver, though, Donald? Uh, Why don't you get a driver? prestige one drive me, you know. Yeah. But this is your talk. You have to do the real talk show. Oh. And that type of thing, yeah. Mm. Yeah, prestige a good driver, you know? Yes, he sure is. He sure yeah. is. Yeah, man. but you, you are one in a million, sir. I thank you, sir. I yeah. try my best. You know, you know, give up everything. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to take one pound and walk on the road. Yes, the man. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> you know, afraid of something this. Big and serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to run when the man say, boy, I'm sick, you know. No, we can't do that. My aunt now oh, yeah. give me for do that. Yeah, aunt now give me for do that. No, no. Yeah. Right. And, and like I said, if, if it's a case, and if if it's a case where where Prestige and I are were together or something and something go wrong and I can do anything now that what, what is, uh, uh, you know to to help. So, so Not everything, years, but yeah, anything. Drop the twenty years and run. We let us. You know, that's going to fight with it. Yes, man. And if and yeah. if 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 and if paying him a visit, even if we're not together, if paying him a visit or bringing him something, some food or some clothing or washing some clothes for him will help in any little way I can. You know, once yeah. another case, we're going to give up my, my entire self because you can't be giving up yourself entirely for somebody else, mm. really and truly. Yeah. But yeah. within the means where you know it's not taking too much off of you, not where it affects your life negatively. Mm -hmm. You know, some of our brethren, you know, him, him, him wife, they take the cancer thing. Yeah. And get real bad. And them fight with her. Yes. And the minute she gives me that much, I'm sure I'll let her. <laughs> oh, God. Them something they are wickedness, you know, Daniel. I saw the life set up, man. Yo, Missy Ashi, you know, just give her two licks, you know, man. Yeah, man, I saw the life set up. You don't do that, man. Yeah, but you see, a modern day time Why? now with modern day women. Mm. Yeah. You sound like you're an old woman still, you know, like you come from way back in you know. Way back at old school. I am older in my yeah. mind than I am in body. Okay. Yes, man. Me, me, me have a heart. Okay. Where okay. if somebody's really sick and we. No, 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 get me wrong. No, get me wrong. No, I have a heart, but I also have sense. Because if it is that you not treating me a certain way, and you're going to kick and box me down and affect my life negatively so much so that my me have get me get concussion is that me can't seem to leave because many women who are being abused they, they, they can't seem to leave whether it's for fear or for whatever other reason and they stay and they take this buffin 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 yeah and if that's the case and when i get the chance to cut as you would say me i cut down all me sorry Okay. Because it doesn't matter what I do for you, when you recover, dog near my supper, because I'll be getting some more kick down and box down and all these things. Hey, prestige. Yep. Yeah, my mother, yeah, my mother, breast hurt, dad, ne? Yeah, yeah. That, dad, ne? Yeah. That's sad. In dead and gone now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man, that, 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 that,
Oh my goodness. <laughs> you well, well, it's well, yeah. <laughs> so he, he put himself still, you know what I mean? But yes. then I'm a light of an Alice Jordan. Yeah, man. Yes. Like and it's so the light the vibes as usual. It's such a pleasure to hear him because you know what what stands out for me, Donald, is that everybody, anybody who would have gone through what you went through today would have mm. just come in frustrated, tired, stressed. Nah, just just lock off person. and just go under them bed. Listen, I got, I got, met the devil give me this. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, sometimes you just have to do something from not as a deterrent, you know, but more as a blessing. Blessing, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, so Real you just talk. have to just go and fight. Yeah. Real and talk. the life sweet. I mean, I see nobody come back from me, so down there's a nice, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have to just try to maintain a whole arm for the life as best as it's possible. I yeah. love your That's strength true. and your positive yeah. energy. Keep it up. That's Yep. You get parole, yeah. Every time. All right. Thank All you, right. Donald. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Peace. Oh my God! What a beautiful spirit, yeah, man. beautiful Dana soul, yeah, yeah, man. To 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 be so positive in mm. despite of all that is happening around you, mm. you retain and maintain that positive energy. It's just beautiful. It's very admirable. Mm. So I pray his blessings right throughout the rest of this year into the yeah. new year and beyond that. And just that, keep that keep that, that two, energy. Two days a week. Wow. Mm. Keep that energy. Two days a week. He's a motivation, I swear. Mm. Marvin says, let's shout out Donald and pray for a speedy recovery. You would sound different tonight. I swear. Yes, he does. But you know, I could still hear the love he has for real talk tonight in his voice, despite not sounding his bubbly self, but more and more blessings and the prayers indeed to our dear friend. All hey. right. Hey, hey. Bright, yeah, bright. <laughs> Indeed, it is. All right. So we're talking about sacrifices that you'll be willing to make, not just for you know, um, for, for the new year, but overall, um, for your loved ones. Would you be willing to make certain sacrifices if you really love them? And some people will tell you, yes, they will. Based on experiences that they've had, oh, my goodness, they would. But then there are others who will say, oh, me, I am not making certain sacrifices for no woman, mm -hmm. for no man. And it's unfortunate that if you found somebody who is probably going to be the best thing for you, and you're going to take a stance that you're not doing this again, then it wouldn't be fair to that, fair to that person. And you're going to be using someone else's fat to fry that person who could end up being the best person you've ever been with. What happens if you have, say, for instance, a good friend? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you're not a good friend, you know, go through childhood days, right? Mm -hmm. They grew up. And the good friend are getting involved in a, your relationship. I carry news I tell your half. And your other half say, listen up, you know, say, you have to give up this friend, you know. Mm. You have to make some form of sacrifice. sacrifice you know, right now in this relationship, you know. You know, see, it's either your friend, you know, and you can't be with you. I mean, because this friend, I get Are this ruined. relationship rocky, you know. Mm -hmm. And you see that, you know. What would you say to your other half? Wow, that's a very good question. Yeah. And we come back with it after the 11 o'clock break. Okay. The time is now 11 o'clock, guys. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Nassal. They sponsor Real Talk. We'll be back with more. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Yo, the 
This is Jati, the reggae ambassador. Join me alongside Jati Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rock Steady, and Oh Yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. For the reggae ambassador entertainment show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Get your Saturday morning started the right way. It's all about the jump start with Chungi, the Chinaman on your radio from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's all about vibes from the start to the finish. We're boring a go that get diminished. So whether you're home, on the road, on a bus, or drive taxi, then come listen to Jump Start on Stars FM. We cover the globe like oxygen. Jump Start Saturdays, 6 to 9 a.m. That's at the time. Anything else me leave out? Cho, never mind. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Hi guys, we're back on Real Talk and it's good to really, really have you sharing in the discussion tonight. Vivian! Another one of my good friends over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Really, really respect him as a friend, as a person. Very genuine, kind-hearted person. I tell you, really, really genuine. And I love that. So Vivian says, good evening, Lady Cleo and Prestige. It was a pleasure listening to you guys all year. Wishing you the best, Lady Cleo, for 2020. Thank you so much, my friend Vivian. Good to see you tonight. Long time to hear from you. Prestige was just here saying you're always bigging me up and giving your greeting and stuff. A long time to hear from you. All right. So thank you and all the very best to you as well, my dear. All right. So we're talking about sacrifices and um, we're going to look at an article that says um, Love Panky. It's from lovepanky.com. Your guide to better love and relationships. And of course, when we give... When we give to others what we really want to receive for ourselves, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. You're going to have a beautiful world. We're going to have issues. We are going to have disagreements. We are going to not see eye to eye on many things sometimes. But once there is just real, genuine love, I strongly believe that love can overcome anything. Real love. Love, not about sexual gratification and sexual desires. We talk about real, genuine love. You know, your heart towards people and towards the person you're sharing your life with, it will overcome just about anything. Now, if you have the love, but the other smart and have none, it's going to be difficult to overcome certain things. Right? So it has to be love, genuine love, from the two people them giving it back to the other one. So it's all about recipro reciprocity. You have to reciprocate what you're getting. Yeah, what you want for yourself, give it. And the other person should be willing to give it right back. Then we're going to have it easier. 
despite the challenges and the disagreements, it's going to be easier because you're reciprocating love towards each other. Don't it, Prestige? Real talk. So lovepunky.com article says, when you truly love someone, would you really do anything for them? Huh? Nikki Curtis. We asked a question earlier. Mm -hmm. And repeat the question. You have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for years. For years. You're not grown. You know? Childhood days. And, um... Your you other half, which is a boyfriend, find out that she carry news to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Right? Protecting you, huh? Yeah. Or so they say. Yeah. You know, always, you know, we always say on a negative level, you know what I mean? Mm. Cause carry this, yeah. carry, go bring commands. And so, then so, so, so. the And your other half, the relationship between you and the other half, the other half is so nice. Everything is fine. Boss man, I take care of you, take care of you, take care of you, take care And she push herself between you both. And your other half say, listen, man, clear? Let me tell you. Is it that you or your girlfriend, you know? And me I tell you from now. I am hmm. happily comfortable in, in this relationship. relationship. You know? So you we decide. decide what you want to do. You mm. know? If you want to have a good thing and make it just break up like that because of your friend, mm -hmm. it's up to you. What would you do? Tell you the truth, you know. Listen to me now. So, I don't really want to hear all of our stories no more. I don't want to carry go bring come on a so, 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 so. But prestige, because really and truly, I mean, I have a good thing going, I'm not put no problem in the way. There's a problem now because they keep on coming to me with these stories. Look at me, I don't want to hear. Nothing for me to find out for myself, let me find out. So somebody bring the stories, come tell me, because I don't want the relationship to mess up with me and him. That's one way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. Another way is depending on what she has said. <laughs> You're going to do some fbi -ing. Or CIA-ing. Sorry. To find out if some of what she has said are true. Mm -hmm. Because mark you. Sometimes, you know, it's not just a hard and fast thing to say, you know what? Dump the friend because she has carrying news. It's about what the friend saying and where she get her source from. Where she get her info from. And if there's any truth to it. And could it be that she's really, really protecting me? Because she could very well be protecting me. Could as well as she could very well want the man that I have because he's such a good man to me. Rita. So there are so many avenues to look, you know, to mm -hmm. look at this mm -hmm. um, thing. So many mm -hmm. viewpoints. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you know your friend, or you think you know your friend to that point, or you think you know the man, I think for me ultimately, I would do a little bit of investigating into what is said observe closer because sometimes things are right there but you just don't see it because you're not looking for it or you're not anticipating it's gonna happen so when she says certain things i dissect it and put it back together start doing me you know investigation. investigation i'm experimenting on all these things mm -hmm. to see if what if and then I draw my conclusion because, like me say, if what she has said, nah, connect no way, then chances are a lie, a lie, you know? Or is he that good to cover his tracks? Or just maybe she has an underlying reason why she's doing what she's doing. So you have to be smart, a little bit witty, but also if you see where she coming around when your boyfriend is there, you know, or when your girlfriend is there, the, the person coming around, be careful now to say, hey, I'm having a problem because, you know, prestige uncomfortable with you carrying this, whatever, whatever. And sometimes, too, people come with stories. No, don't just be quick to just jump and believe everything with them say. Don't just be quick. And there are some things, some things you just dismiss at the same time. Some things you investigate. Just investigate. <laughs> so, but I, I would not want to continue 
hearing and the caregiver bring come and the, the, the chat, chat, chat with her. I will marry sir, because we are friends and we must, must have had something strong going for years. But then I'm going to limit some of that kind of, you know, labrish, because I don't want the man who is treating me so well and is so comfy in our relationship to now become uncomfortable because I have somebody who makes him uncomfortable because had it been the other way around, would I be comfortable with his female friend doing the very same thing? No, I wouldn't. So with that in mind, is why I would try to limit now some of what, how much we discuss and what we're discussing and just leave him out of the picture Leave prestige out of it and put talk about other things. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the that's one the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. But for me, CIA, hello, here I come. FBI, here I come. Come on, if I really something go so, or she had tried to take him away from me. I go want to find that out. Sorry. So you know, can I ask the man? No man. Mm -hmm. If man even do something, I can admit to it. Oh mm -hmm. please. What you mean? Admit to what? Talk truth. So that means say the man tell the truth. Oh yes, you yeah. know, honey. So, yeah. I got I got Mary and Jane so you're on not, the you're road. So you know you know you know you know you know in a relationship, fit 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 trust. Yes, but yeah. I'm saying if it is that I hear so you rather story, so, so you don't rather believe your friend or your friend. I did not say I was gonna <laughs> believe her. Ask question. Be ask the question. Words in my mouth. Be, did if a man come to you where you live with, I guess you trust the man where you live with, right? You trust him. Right? You love him. And your friend know I come. I, give you, I tell you news. And your man look at you and tell you, say, listen up, Cleo. You know how these people stare at hmm. you, you know. I'm going to tell you something. Right? I am not involved in anything like that. Yes, he me could have a be lying. We, no? Yes, me have a friend where me and I talk good. As well as right? it could be you the truth. Her, and then look away there, right? You know her, and I'm a friend that. And I'm a good friend. I'm a virgin people too. Right? I'm a cousin people. Right? And at the same time, she don't know anything where I go on panel every day. Sacrifice the friend. You get me? I say, so your friend now, I come tell you and I give you news. So you're going to believe your friend now, right? I did not and your say man, that, but I can't. Yeah? At the same time, well, well, I won't just jump and believe because I, I, I'm going to be in shock for one. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, oh my God, Prestige is doing this. And look how him convinced me otherwise. So you're not shocked if him tell us not no go so? No, I'm saying. So you don't believe be him if him tell us not no go so? Not necessarily either. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to be cia yeah. I said. Because and friend, fbi -ing. Because a friend come and say that to you. Because I want to know if what is being said. Mm -hmm. What if I was in the dark all this time? And what if my friend knows something that I don't know? What if she's really trying to protect me? Mm -hmm. What if she sees where I'm going on the road of some great investment in this relationship with this man? Mm -hmm. And she'll pick up on certain things that no man. she discover that this man is really not with you. The man just want a cut off of the pie. Yeah. And she sees that and can detect that or knows something yeah. along that line. That's a relationship. Why would want to know not, about I'm it? I'm not talking about relationship, but we're just going to start with the man and no. get a cut off of the pie. Can no man never see two, me three, two, three years if you get cut off of the pie? I'm not just start me and talk about so you. You can make a big investment too. If your friend a man just decides, say, you know what? Yeah. I'm just running. I'm going to do this. But if your friend see you, I talk to a man and the relationship about two weeks, right? And she had bought in already. And I can give you information. You get me, I say? And Why you say would, she had given information two weeks is, in the relationship. If it is that this man. Two weeks? Walk around and I rub and I teeth and I carry on and I carry on. Yeah. I mean, I know all that, you know. Yeah. I don't know that. But she get inside upon that. I'm talking what about. What made me want to know about I'm, it? I'm talking about involved outside of a relationship. I'm not talking about no robbery. Even, no, no, but I can I, change up on I, I, I use, every right? situ I you know use any use? situation. I know that made a pun. If it is, love part. if it is <laughs> arbitrary, yeah. if yeah. it is that, <coughs> sorry, mm -hmm. it's another woman yeah. and she knows about it. Mm -hmm. Better me know and deal with it and still stay with him if I choose to stay yeah. with him than don't know and figure that and find out that she knew all along and kept it to herself. So what happened if, if, if when she tell you a liar? I'm going to try to find out if a liar are true. Wait, if you find out say it's a liar, your friend will tell a liar. She get what you don't get. What did you don't get? <laughs> a big stick. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin says, that's what Marvin's saying. That's why you don't let friend and company in your relationship because it could be that person. It could be that the person is just jealous. And if it's any, if it's any truth, if there's any truth to it, then you pray and talk to the person on how you can prevent them from going out. Mm, real talk. All right, let's see if when you love somebody, yes. when you truly love them, mm -hmm. if you would really do anything for them. Anything. By Nikki Curtis. They say true love conquers all. But do you agree? Are there limits when you truly love someone? And how do you even love if it's the big L? Sorry, how do you even know if it's the big L? Love is a strange and complicated thing. It makes you feel sick, stops you from eating and sleeping, and all of this is supposed to make you happy? <laughs> I'm painting a rather dark picture of what love is because, of course, love is wonderful. When you find a connection with someone, there are few feelings on the planet which compare. You'd do anything when you truly love someone. Or would you? Huh. Do you believe that true love conquers all, as they say? I have a little trouble with this saying... If I'm honest, do I believe you would really do anything when you truly love someone? No, not anything. I would do most things, but I wouldn't do anything. I agree with you, Nikki. I not lie. I agree. I wouldn't do anything. Anything mean anything. The man come in and say, look here, number one. This position, and you know your foot can't go up there or whatever, and you're going. Ch I wouldn't do anything. Well, you'll get one a bright eyes. Myself in any discomfort, for please. Yeah. No, 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 no. Get one a bright any style. great discomfort to please him? Mm. Oh no. You'll get one a bright eyes style. Hey, here. That not happened to me. Your bright eye, tell you already. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're God. <laughs> you do. You do anything for love, but not that. You might be too young to remember this, but in the early 90s, U.S. singer Meatloaf mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sang a little ditty call, I do anything for love, but I won't do that. Exactly, Meatloaf, exactly. Yes, I remember the song. Mm. I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. Yes. Oh! That same song. Oh! <laughs> Most agree. Most agree to considering anything for love. But actually going through and doing it is another thing altogether. True. Like I just said, you know, I would do certain things. They're not. Mm -hmm. I won't do anything. Mm -hmm. But there are some things, even if it puts my ego. Yeah. Yeah? Crushed a bit within myself. I don't mind. Or ego is even ego goes away at that point because all I'm thinking about is just trying to save or help the person. Yeah. Yeah. So most a person who truly loves you would never put you in a position that made you choose between doing something for them and doing something you didn't agree with. Real talk. Why not? Let me repeat that. A person who truly loves you, mm -hmm. Cassidy, would never put you in a position that made you choose between doing something for them and doing something you'd agree you didn't agree with or something you weren't comfortable with. So you're not going to tell me to do something because it makes you feel good mm -hmm. and you know within yourself say. It's going to make me very uncomfortable but you mm -hmm. want me to do it just the same for you. That's selfishness. Yeah, no, there's been no one experience it. More experience You're selfish. It. You get me? I have an experience it too. Me no one experience it. You know? Me no one experience it But if you, make, if you make you uncomfortable and make me comfortable, we experience it. Eh? Yeah, but you experience it on a different side so and me experience it on the good side. doing what me want you for do? Eh? 
and make you uncomfortable and me comfortable. We talked about it before. And you didn't agree to doing it. Mm. We talked about it before. Mm-hmm. Mm. We start. Yeah. <laughs> Changing your mouth on it readily, I yeah. tell you, boy. Oh, boy. I know I would never ask my partner to go against their principles mm-hmm. simply because of their love for me. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Go against your principle and your values because they love you, so you must go against and do this. Eh? If the woman is only comfortable with doing missionary, mm-hmm. it's, it's her principle to just do missionary alone. When it comes to the bedroom. Well, you want her to go put her head, put, head top the, and when all these things. When it comes to the bedroom, eh? right? When it comes to the bedroom, but it's relationship. Her principle. Listen to me, man. You think I really, religion we are talking about? <laughs> you think I religion? When I tell you, fit, 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 you think a religion? Well, here kind it is. of religion come in the bedroom with me? If you do, if you put the woman in a position mm. where her principles are compromised, yeah. it's not true love Don't on your side. Don't carry no religion come in the bedroom with me. It's not true love. It's something me? else. You keep that in the church. <laughs> Marvin, yeah. where are you? Yeah, okay, them come in the bedroom and uh, come to me about, you know, I'm a Christian and, you know, I, I'm not supposed to be wait, 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 this way and this way and this way. Because, because what? <laughs> because what? You got you start preach the Bible to me, you know? And I tell me about the Bible and what the pastor pastor what? Ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten prestige up and fired up, I tell Don't you. Don't care no relationship I, coming and bedroom. Serious business, yeah. you know. Oh prestige yeah. not joking face. Yeah. Serious. What? <laughs> to my bedroom as is you, a place between me and you. As you can see, love yeah. is complicated indeed. <laughs> indeed it is. Yeah. Do you have boundaries in love? Huh? Prestige say no boundaries. No. There are no boundaries, boundaries in mm-hmm. love. You can look at this two ways. In prestige. love, you know. In love. Yeah, yeah, we say. Look at it two ways, in prestige. In love. <laughs> it might be that your partner isn't asking anything of you. Mm-hmm. But you feel like you should. Maybe it's something they can't help, mm-hmm. such as a health problem, and they need a kidney. Yeah. In that case, of course, you'd do it. Yeah. I'm talking about things like breaking the law, going against your beliefs, or hurting someone else. These are things I would not do for love. Mm. Because that would mean going against myself. Hold on, back up, Nikki. Back up a little bit. If Imodagi. Me, one and kidney. One and kidney. Mm-hmm. I would give him one of mine. Mm-hmm. If he would give me one of his. Mm-hmm. If he uh, give me one of him. Then one must give him one of me. To make him live. And it's going to be a husband same way. See, right if he would man. give me one of his. Yeah. Then I would give him one of mine. Yeah, if 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 yeah, if you was if you're the sick. If I strongly believe that he would give me one of his, mm-hmm. then I would give him one of mine. Okay. And if it not going to kill me in the long run, because yeah. it makes no sense to we're dead. Mm-hmm. One has to live to tell the tale. Mm-hmm. So if it's gonna affect my life negatively, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. So oh, you don't worry about that if you're try. dead. Oh, you don't worry about if you're dead. You can't worry about that if you're dead. Who wants to know that they might very well die if they give up one of their kidneys? Eh? Who wants to know that? Who wants to know that? Okay, if you do this surgery, yeah. it could take your life, you know. And if it you know could the, result and, in this, and that, if you that. Don't, and if you don't do the surgery, both of you are going to pass on. Your husband is going to pass on. And if you do the surgery, it's a possibility he may not live and you may not live. Which one you would do? No, ask me that question. <laughs> 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 so back to my article, my love. Because yes. you have to put me on exams, but then you know, like All one right. UA exam. All right. I'm talking about things that breaking the law. No, mm-hmm. big and serious. Yeah. You could have loved me a little more. Mm-hmm. Don't break no law for me. Yeah. I could have loved you like cook food. Mm-hmm. Me not break no law for you. Mm-hmm. Because really and truly, mm-hmm. when me gonna Fort Augustus yeah. or Upper San Zan, yeah. You free and all I went to is a nine day talk, boy. I say, boy, I miss you do it fine. And you know, you walk on with your chest high. You don't have to be no outside legal law. Look you, here, you can break the bedroom break. law. You have bedroom, bedroom rules and law where some woman come in there with. Right? We say, them are Christian. <laughs> yeah, them have to break that law for me. 
Alah demi tak boleh. Awo, minta dulu macam ni tak boleh. Kaya ada buat the law of the land. Of the land. Yes. Well, okay. I am not breaking any law for anybody, okay. and I am not expecting them to break any law. Cause okay. if you really love somebody, you can't put them in problem mm -hmm. and trouble. Well, okay, you're more specific serious. right there. Yes, mm. right. So I'm coming to tell me, say, boy, babes, mm -hmm. you see the money back over there with, with the money. Mm -hmm. I go distract them, and you go take, take it up. Not me. Mm -hmm. I am a broke and papa rising. I am not doing it to please you. Right. I am sorry. Not even, to, not even for myself, much less. Mm -hmm. So now come to me with anything if I do it. Me and I all know going to lock up on you yeah. now, live free. Yeah. Going to roam the whole place, left me in a prison with them, with them girls. Yeah. Eh? So if, if, if you go inside. No, in, man. If you go, say, say for instance, you go inside. Not the, sacrifice if you go, not at all. If you go inside, right? They, they, they tell a machine. And when you go in there, you see, say, they, they think no clothes. Mm -hmm. Right? And when you look at your package, you so put on. And the man them put in some and left the rest. So yeah, call so. them. So what? What do you mean for? Me not sacrifice my integrity like that. You crazy? Integrity can't buy a shop. Wait. Integrity can't buy a shop. Me call them and say, hello, sir. I'll go to the teller, miss. I know there's a bag of money on the inside, on the ground. I think the men who were servicing left it there. So you don't sacrifice your pride? Huh? No, you don't sacrifice your pride for walk around with a can and beg. I would sacrifice saying. my pride yeah. with a can to beg for my spouse if I need to beg for him to save his life. Yes, yeah. I would. But if you see the money put on right, it's so easy me like that. No, take right? up when I belong when I to walk me. On can. Me, me say me no, take you up. Eh? Ain't sick and he need the money to help, but me nah take it up. Eh? To hold me, I got nervous, wait up myself, yeah. and I can have something for things. Say, look here, yeah. where you got to be them stolen but money? If you, on, if you come on back and eh? tell me say something like that, and you come on back <laughs> and you tell me say something like that happened today. What are you going right? to do to me? Eh? You're going to leave me alone and go on my own. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to have a key for the house because all I lack change. <laughs> you go home back to your mother. Go on back to your mother. After you could have reached her, I'm happy and all right. Oh my God. Go on back. Kimoy, happy birthday when it comes, my dear. All the very best to you as well. It was great having you with us as well, my dear. All right. Happy birthday when it comes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big up a set by your earth, John. Come on. <laughs> so, if I were to see the bag of money. Yes. And you're saying if I love you, yeah. I should sacrifice and take it up and bring it home to yeah, drive to be pan, happy. Yeah, drive pan, the, the, the highway are good on an Ochi. Wait, no? The brings in front of you. And couple back drop out. The driver, driver, go in and go see him. Right? You have to say, let's take up that Pick now. Pick it up, bring it to the, the nearest police station. police station. Okay, good man. No. Mm -hmm. There's a flip side to that. Yes. If I... Driving down the road, mm -hmm. or I stop to do a quick leak. Sometimes you drive when you go far, and you find a shit in a bathroom. I used one back, uh, yeah. one back on the corner, yeah. really and truly. Yeah. And you know, you're not body, I make no alarm, say X and Y and Z. I don't know if I'm going to police it. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I wouldn't. Mm. If it's out there, just so, so, so. Eh? I may not hear no news item. If I hear a news item, don't get me wrong. I am going to call relevant authorities to say this is so and so. Mm -hmm. If I hear people asking about it, and I know that somebody really, really, really reports that the money got stolen or lost or something, I'm going to give it to my conscience now. I'm going to keep it. Right. But me and Just like you're going to the supermarket no. and you saw a wallet are gone. You just take it up and carry it to the nearest police station. Yes! Right. I would do that. I'm not teething it out. Good lady. I'm teething out the money when I... No, no, no sir. No, I'm not saying. You no, know what I mean? You know? But me find something like that. I'm not saying because the, the, the ID is more... It depends on how much you find, The ID is more um, valid more than the, the, the money in the, in the wallet, don't you? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Because why would you want to take the man's ID? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, 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 but... And then, and then it depends on how much I find, too. Because if yeah. it's a real huge bag of... You know, yeah, money. Yeah. We're not comfortable to keep it. Oh. But we're on real talk, you know, people. It's real talk we're on. Yeah. So, yeah. so I find a little yeah. sum, a little Why is it thing. that, why is it, right? Mm -hmm. A person lost their wallet or their, 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 um, their handbag. And when they get back their handbag, 
and then wallet, then get back their ID and cards and stuff like that. And not the money. And the money. It's, that person isn't honest, are they? Eh? They're, not, they're not honest. Oh, so we want more people like you on this planet. Yes, man. That is so nice. Yes. That is so nice. Real, Real talk. talk. It's 11.30. The yeah. time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Don't go anywhere. We go up until 12 when we come back. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Remember Styles FM on social media View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961 Become a fan on Facebook Styles FM 96.1 don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Uh-huh. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys, to the final half hour or so of our show for 20... Last show, yeah. is it? For yeah. 2019. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So we are on the article about the sacrifices you would make or would not <laughs> make for love. And if you really do love somebody, do you expect them to do odd things just to prove that they love you? I don't think so. If you love your girlfriend, you wouldn't inveigle her to go steal. <laughs> Big and serious. Yeah, and if you love idea. your boyfriend, yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't expect him to go above and beyond to go and tea from the boss to please you to buy your fancy clothes because yeah. you want nice name brand this and name brand that. No, you don't love the person if you do that. Not at all. Mm. And it's not talk about, oh, it's going to make me your life better. Like, seriously, mm. when, they get, when I get caught... Where are you again? Mm -hmm. Are you going to say, oh, I'll take the time for her because I caused her to get caught in the first place. I'll do her time. You're no, crazy. you ain't doing that. No, sir. So don't come try and set me no. up. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Me don't know where they are, though. Uh-uh. These couples, some of these couples, <laughs> some of these they couples are, are crazy. Yeah. All right. If, where am I? Hmm. I know I would never ask my partner to go against their principles simply because of their love for me. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you do not love your partner. the partner. All right? It's not true love on your part. All right? Do you have boundaries in love? Yes. You have boundaries? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there are certain things you're not going to do. All right? Um, to like breaking the law? I ain't doing that. Mm -hmm. Giving up of myself to the point where it really hurts and affects my life? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Not doing that. I'm sorry. Ain't doing it. Mm. Nada. Mm. I'm in love, you know? But me not do it. Mm. Go against Seriously. your Christian values. Yeah, go against my Christian values. Missionary only. Hmm. 
What are boring relations? <laughs> what are oh, where am I? When you ch what are your limits, or do you have any when it comes to love? It's an interesting conversation to have. Do you have limits when it comes to love? Should there be limits? Should there be none? When you truly love someone, how you know? Marvin should be able to answer this question. How you know when you really love somebody? When you truly love someone, how do you actually know it's love you're feeling? It could be sexual desires, people. It could be because, ooh, yeah, man, she do it proper, nice dancing with this one. Boy, love her. She shape good, I love her. She have money, I love her. Have a fancy car, I love her. Is it love? Him have, ooh, name brand clothes, him look good when him dress up, I love him. Is that really love? Hmm. Love can easily get confused with lust in the first flourishes of a union. And it can feel extremely powerful indeed. For me, I know I'm in love when I get the sense that the other person's happiness is on par with mine. Real talk, she and me cried so. Or in some cases, perhaps more so. So when it is that you feel that the person's happiness is on par with you, yeah, you know, say, boy, yeah. Love one, the person loves you and you love them too. Mm -hmm. Because you both bring that kind of happiness and joy to each other's lives. You're complimenting. If your life now compliment the other person's life and vice versa, and a love, a tolerance. <laughs> That's probably a conversation controversial sorry thing to own up to because of course nobody else's happiness is more important than yours but when you truly love someone there are times when you consider their happiness to be higher up on the priority list than your own true you know mm -hmm. because the sacrifice is being made yeah. and then the other person know when you doing that if they have the same view and attitude, and you'll find that it balances out because while you are giving up of yourself sometimes for them, the other person is also doing the very same thing. So it's a win-win situation. Yeah. And I saw it for go. Right? So, when you truly love someone, there are many times when you consider their happiness higher than your own on the priority list. Real talk. Whether we act on it is a different matter. <laughs> but for me, that's how I know it's the big L I'm feeling. All of that, I can't stop thinking about them. I can't eat. I can't sleep. For me, that's not love. It's infatuation. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I can't love to stay. Because the person I go and your boy, you feel depressed. You don't want to eat. Or they're in the hospital and you're just not feeling like you can't manage because you worry about them. You're not eating and not sleep. I love that too. Yeah? Or you miss them so badly, that boy. That's love too. I love. I don't think that's, that, saying is a, that saying is a very fair one. All right? Hmm. What do you think? Why is my thing freezing up on me now? Like, seriously. My thing is freezing. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, boy. Where am I? Hmm. Love. Many people confuse that with love, but it's totally different. Love goes beyond that. Love means you would actually consider doing anything. Am I at the right place? Yes, I am at the right place. Let me just backtrack a little bit. Hmm. So when you feel that you need to put the person's desires a little bit above yours, or you feel it's like it's higher up on the priority list, then you're saying to yourself, why this person's welfare matters to me now. Mm -hmm. And if I can not go to this event today <clears throat> and stay home and cook his dinner because I know every pan not me have to go, or stay home and look after him because he's not feeling well, I'll just treat him nice today because he works so hard. 
I don't have to go do this thing today. I can make it stay till tomorrow. Give him a foot rub. You know, give him a massage one at a time because he takes such good care of you. You know, ladies? That's love. Mm-hmm. Because you're putting, and him now have the money mm-hmm. this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still are treating him good and get, get him nice food. See, because when you have the money, waga waga, you are get it. But look, one time him now have no money, you know, start showing bad face and start, you know, all these things. So, yeah, I, love is not so hard to detect, you know. It's the sacrifice and the giving up of, your, of yourself sometimes to the, for the sake of the other person's happiness, too. But it's not a one-way street. It's a two-way street. It's got to be. Yeah? When you truly love someone... Hmm, got here already. How do you actually know? All right. Let me pick up back. I'm, I'm, hmm. Yeah, so all these things, but I can't stop thinking about your person when she's gone. Oh, I can't stop thinking about her. I can't sleep. I can't eat. She's saying that's not love. All right? Hmm. Many people confuse this with love, but it's totally different. Love goes beyond that. Love means you could actually consider doing anything. This is why this subject matter is so important to discuss. Considering doing anything for love? Hmm. No. Again, it depends on what we... It depends on what the anything actually is. But you have to keep a part of yourself back when you are in any type of relationship. True. True, because some people lose themselves completely mm-hmm. and the person can manipulate them and tell them to do anything and them just do it like idiot. Your partner should always want, to s- want the same for you. So you want happiness and, you know, great things for me. Yes. I should want the same thing for you. Yeah. Some women just dig out the money, yai, pocket, everything for the money. And really and truly, they don't have the man's best interest at heart. And as a man takes sick, they run gone. Evil. Evil. Wickedness. Hmm. Wickedness. Your partner should always want the same for you. You should want the same for your partner. We're not supposed to lose who we are when we are in a relationship. We're supposed to be an enhanced version. Real talk, people. Real talk. That is something many people forget. You can't be in there and you're feeling like you're drain out. You're pop down. You're not a progress. You're not a grow. You have to feel like this relationship is taking me to a higher level. Not just sexually. Yeah? Well, you got to grow. Or what's the sense? Let me tell you a story. Recently, I've been a witness to this very issue. A friend of mine has been in a relationship for the last year. And I admit many of us have our doubts about it. She is with a person who is controlling. But she is so head over heels in love or something. (laughs) <laughs> that she cannot see it. We support her because we are her friends. Recently, her partner asked her to quit her job because the hours were making it difficult for them to spend a lot of time together. So what a judgment. I read of a case recently too in Jamaica mm. here, Port Antonio here, where mm. boy, the story is coming like a fairy tale, mm. a, a bad a nightmare. Mm. Let me put it that way. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Where a woman is expected to, to quit her job. Yeah. I mean, you're, if you even hear the reasons, you're like, you're like huh? Mm. I see now a good job. Yeah. And why would you want to quit your job unless it's for health reasons? When, when the more the merrier, the more bread coming in, you mm. can be able to feed your children properly, better, mm. send them to a better school, mm. Sustain yourselves better. Come on, man. Not more than self-reliance. Mm-hmm. Quit my job and go to pimp on a man for to look after me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a problem. Because our love. L- hmm. Because he's insecure and he doesn't want me to go out there to work because he thinks that, oh, I might yeah. find somebody. Like, seriously? Yeah. Don't come to me with that. Yeah, it's a controlling thing. 
mm -mm, shouldn't mm. be. Yeah. Not going to work for me, sorry. Yeah. Not with a strong will. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Can't yeah. work. You and what gives, a, what gives anybody the greater joy than, you know, being able to so, fend for yourself? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, you know? Yeah. We're not just sitting on the pin point one woman. Mm. Or, and some of these men who do it, I don't know how they do it. Lord Jesus. Anyways. It's a beautiful thing to not have to depend wholly and solely. Mark you, we are interdependent on each other for everything. It's about anything. Love, you know, companionship and all of that, and friendships. But the bigger scope where you can survive on your own if you were to, it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Why should I quit my job because this man, this man said I must stop? Because eh? he can't take care of you. He can't go, he not go manage. Mm -hmm. He can't go manage. Oh, yes. Yeah, he can't go manage. <laughs> if you tell him he can't go manage, because I'm there sometimes I can't really manage. <laughs> Just kidding. But well, I wouldn't want that because I'm, I know that I'll be uncomfortable at some point. Yeah. Where if I want to go buy myself an ice cream, mm -hmm. I don't have depends, no money in my pocket. Fee. And I say, um, prestige. When you come on, you can bring one ice cream for me, please. Yes, baby. You must be a madman. What flavor? No, I mean, mark you. I know if I said that otherwise, but every evening, so every other evening, I want ice cream. Mm. I got this butter, 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 butter every day, so. Yeah, and you get the ice cream. Because I tell you if you quit. I lie, you are telling me. home, and the I will take care of you. So you get quit. ice cream. The same man who wants to have a sacrifice you know? our job. You will get your ice cream. I am sure yeah. you're going to turn around, probably treat her flavor. like, Kuno Muno, because he's going to say, someone here, idiot. All you have to do, tell she me She wrap around my little finger. Yeah. No way. Uh-uh. It's, uh -uh. About, it's, it's about love. Uh -uh, uh -uh. There is a major difference between considering their happiness slightly mm. more important than yours on one occasion. Okay, I didn't finish with the story. Did I tell you the story? Hmm, we on the man. This thing is giving trouble. This thing is giving trouble. People, my system is giving trouble. You hear? Yes. Quit her job. Okay, that's where we were. Because the hours were making it difficult for him to spend time with her. Mm -hmm. Now our friends love now our friend loves her job. She has worked hard to achieve this job and she is very good at it. Did she leave? Shockingly, yes. Oh my god. Her defense was that she had enough, she had enough failed relationships in her past. One of the things about us women, you know, it part not good sometimes, you know. She has had enough failed relationships in her past. She wanted this one to work. Not gonna work, so baby. She said she could see his point. Lord have mercy, poor lady. And my system is failing me, ladies and gentlemen. She thinks that she could easily find something else to do, I guess. System is freezing. No, what do you think about that story, Prestige, so far? Hmm, it's freezing. Sad to say. What do you think about this lady? Shocking. It's still giving some trouble. I don't know what's happening with it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the story though? Oh, with the lady? Yes. Uh, the lady had to wear She loves husband. the man? Yes, yeah, she had to wear her husband tell her if you do. Top it nice. You know, all of this is not the same. You know what I mean? Hmm. She believes in her husband. And she loves her husband. And her husband can take care of her. Right? Are you listening to yourself? Yeah, and so and some of the man too lazy too. I'm <laughs> not glad for you. Ah. You get, you get oh, opportunity Jesus. like that if you stay home. Yeah. The woman doesn't even want that. She's uncomfortable. Well, why would you love a woman and make her uncomfortable? Or why would you love a man and make him so uncomfortable to stay home? Okay, let me tell her something. When they want to really work? Yeah. Yeah. But and they're not sick, they're healthy and strong and young. Come so, on, man. Some of the men they feel insecure. They don't want the woman out there like that. Well, go live in a jungle with like Tarzan. You know what I mean? And mingle with the trees. You, you can't knock the man for that. 
No. Yeah. That's your insecurity. You're not, you're not ready for a relationship. Yeah. Go mm. and deal with yourself first. Mm. If you're going to tell the woman to stay home because mm. you're insecure, yeah. then go live in the jungle by yourself, man. Yeah, but everybody now going to think the way you like how you are think. You know, see? Because they go that think that way, they don't feel comfortable in a feeling relationship and a live there. You know what? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. That's how you go. Sacrifices that we would make. Mm. It's a new year approaching, so do you guys. Want to sacrifice, you know and what, what sacrifices job, would you be willing to make? Right? To make her husband happy in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yes, you some people give up some things. So you'll be okay with that right? prestige? And when I tell you, somebody I give up my car to purchase a house, for me and my other half of my wife live in a that no rain now nah, wet you up and I blow him from <laughs> and the glass fog up. Wait, we have it's to a driver that house you live in now? You get me I say? Uh-huh. Rain toast me they live in now. Okay. You get me I say? And we can purchase a house now. Wow. And we say, well, okay, we are going to sacrifice the car. Because we can catch bus mm-hmm. or take taxi. I want to finish this story. You know what I say? Yeah. Yeah. So, she said that she wanted this one to work. Oh, Lord. She wanted this one to work, she says, because she has had other failed ones before. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And trying to get the rest of this for you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm. She wanted to work. Because she has had other she, failed fail, yeah. relationships. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. The, the, the man said to her, I said, quit your job. Right? Mm-hmm. And she quit her job. Mm. Just to make this one work. Just That's not love. Eh? And I care what nobody wants, so that's not love. The man love her. Huh? The man love her. <laughs> and I want her to work no more. I want her to stay home, take care of the pity them. Oh, boy. I don't think that's you love. Our. I don't think that's love at all. Controlling? Yes, it is controlling. Eh? Is that dictatorship relationship? Yep, it is. Eh? It is. So why you think two persons have to work in a relationship? Are to you love serious? to prosper? I'm saying, why? Hmm. Feel love for prosper? Feel, feel somebody love you? No, but if but you're not your work? necessarily, but no, no, I'm not saying that you have so to put the work, man but if, if, the No, man but if it business. is that the woman wants to feel that sense of independence and go work, why make her, why suppress her to, suppress her to stay home? She don't want the relationship to work then because she have so many oh different relationships before. Oh my goodness. She said she could point to his, she could, she could, she could see his point yes. and that she could easily find another role which has less hours. Yes, so we might have a Which show, yeah? she enjoyed as much. Mm-hmm. She deemed the sacrifice worth it. Mm-hmm. Now she's working in a similar job, but she doesn't enjoy it as much. Plus, she seems to be home on her own more than home with her partner. Swim at that boat. So we may talk about. Mm-hmm. So she sacrificed her good up, good up job what she loved mm-hmm. to stay, to get a different job just to please the man. Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, now she's at home and she's at home more by herself because the man gone on a road. Mm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean man gone on a road? In this case, the man job I do not travel. agree with doing anything mm. for love. A true. Kimo in Sunning Hill is okay. Anybody that's mm. on the text line, Cassidy, mm. big up to our Facebook friends who have always been locked in with us as well. All right. Um, sacrifice. What do you think? Mm. Sacrifice shouldn't be to the detriment of your life. Yeah. And it certainly shouldn't be one sided. Amen. Mm. Love is hard enough without adding in demands which take the joy out of the things you're, you've worked hard for. It's certainly not worth sacrificing your happiness either. True. There is a major difference between considering their happiness slightly more importantly than yours. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Real talk. So, in considering mm. the sacrifices you're going to make, look at it from the point of view that yeah. if it's not gonna make your life worse off, then it should be fine. Yeah, see, see, see Kevin, put Kevin up in ta- yeah. Tampa, Florida. Big ups yeah. to you, Kevin, for being locked in with us throughout yeah. the year. We appreciate yeah. it. The duck get con, huh? I thought we just said, Ryan, where the, where the duck get? 
<laughs> you got it wrong. Read First Corinthians, then you would understand everything about marriage and mm. sex. Mm -hmm. Tell oh, me about yeah. that. You see where we're going again? <laughs> you see where we're going again? You see which part we're going again? You oh, know this Bible thing with, with, your, with your relationship? When you have to cancel a night out with friends because they're sick and doing it on a constant basis, why should your partner always be smiling and getting what they want when you're the one doing all the sacrificing and compromising? That my one or two. For me, that's not love. When you truly love someone, you should never even consider allowing them to do this for you either. Now sacrifice themselves, them way there, to their disadvantage to please you. That is utter selfishness. Women don't expect the men to give up themselves totally to please you. And men don't expect the woman to give up all that she have to please you. Be fair and compromise and not be selfish. So what about clear? Let me ask you a question, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I read card level. Right? I run a business, right? Mm-hmm. A successful business, right? Yes. Business where can take care of the family. Yes. And we are right. We can go up on vacation, four kids. Mm -hmm. Right? And I said to my wife, say, listen up. Um, my stay home as a stay home mommy because we don't want to get no helper or me. They have some new name for them now. Yeah. <laughs> right? Nanny. For those people, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And nanny, you know what I mean? And because it all costs we X, Y, Z and we, 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 and we don't like the youth them ban with mm -hmm. the mother. Okay. At least one of us because okay. both of us are always working. You know what I mean? Okay. And the man with nanny and them could be the more, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Yeah. So. I see where you're going. You stay home, right? Mm -hmm. And Take care of the youth and panel every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You da said to me, say, well, press, that is not love, you know. All right, so hold on now. That is not love. Uh, there are conditions now, because yeah. if it is, now no, get me straight. Yes. If it is that we come to some form of understanding as to why you're going down that road yeah. and we discuss <laughs> it and yeah. we share and we dissect yeah. the idea yeah. and we look at the pros and the cons yes and we come to an agreement that's mm -hmm. a whole different story but me ask if i i love we are talking about you know regardless no, 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 no. of the conditions yes, can we are sacrifice but, you know but we are if both of we us are. if both of us agree that this is a sacrifice i can if i'm saying to you yeah. okay honey i understand that yes I see where you're going with the point and the bonding and so on and yada, 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 all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, within myself, decide mm -hmm. that this is something I can do mm -hmm. because X and Y will happen better. This is what, if our priorities are the same and I want the same that thing that you want for our children, mm -hmm. then I would consider that. And if it won't make me totally miserable and uncomfortable, I'll consider that and probably do it too. But if you're going to say to me, look, me not want your work. And you're not coming to me with any just reasons why you're presenting that idea to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing where staying home will make me better off financially. Yeah? Mm -hmm. if, if, if staying home is not going to help me as a person to, to feel how I want to feel, and I'm not going to do it. We're going to find a way now mm -hmm. to let the kids take care, nanny, whatever. When we get in as couple... We find our time. We build our time around ensuring that our kids see us and feel us and, you know, interact with us as parents. Because people have done it. And no, kids don't always be, be, be caught up with nannies alone because there are parents who find time mm -hmm. to interact and mix and mingle with their children. Mm -hmm. So it's about the compromise, yes, but not to the point where me... I got my ball every day. I want to go back to work. Because I want this and I can't get it because oh, he doesn't mean, want. But, but, no, 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 no. Clear, clear. Mm, 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 what, 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 when we say things like that, no, you know. Listen up. Your husband run a business, right? And you know, say, both of you guys have an account, maybe more than one. And money is there for you the way you want to do. And I like some money the way you want to do it. Like if you have your calling for get ten dollar and twenty, the account is there. You have credit card, everything is there for you. Do what you want to do? Yeah. Whether or not we are making some money, 
Yeah. If it is that it I is choose to work, if I want to work, do not tell me I shouldn't. If I can work around working with the kids and everything and I can still manage to work, yeah. let me go work. Because your money then becomes our money and my money is my money. So I'll have more, the, the more the merrier. Don't limit me from working if I can work. My so heart is so, strong, so, let me go work. Yeah, so, so in my work, right? You want to tell me, say, in my work. Man don't know, man, tell me if you go and wait. So in my work, so wait. In my work. So in my work, no. And you are work, right? Mm -hmm. Your money is your money. No, no, so no. So where my work? Don't get, no, don't get me wrong. Yeah. When I say my money is my money, I'm talking about the, the fact that... The money where you work yeah, I'm is your money. I'm independent, so I don't have to depend and rely on him for everything. The money that we have in the business is yeah. our money. You can't do anything we want to do with it. It's there. No, I don't feel so. It is there. An I account is there that you can use and do what you want to do with that account. Mine. And the next business account is no. there differently. Because or I, I stop you. Our you money. get pay you, you know. Because you pay your come out of that, you know. Yeah. You get pay. That's all good. Then you know, get, then you get woman. I still want and, my own money. I still want my own money. Sorry. You get the woman get pay. You get your, your, your weekly or your monthly allowance. How much? You get pay. How much? Eh? How much? Let us discuss that after here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh boy. The sacrifices that we make will determine... <laughs> Whether we love yeah. or don't love our partner, the, the expectations that we have of each other as partners will determine how much we genuinely care about the other person and how much their happiness is a priority to us. Remember, mm. love is not one-sided. Yeah. It got to be mm. reciprocated. So if you really, really love the man, ladies, mm -hmm. then of course, this is a time when you show that you love them by doing some sacrifices too. And men, if you really love your woman, there are certain things you would sacrifice for her as well. But remember, in all our sacrificing, we should not give up of ourselves to the point where our lives are worse off. It has been a pleasure being with you for 20 years. 19 2019 mm. of course on behalf of all those who have engineered with us father jacko and our resident resident um this jockey and engineer who has been with us throughout the entire year pretty much cassidy despite being tired many many nights is with us ensuring that we go on the break at the right time and all these things sometimes we miss it but of course on behalf of cassidy and our other co-host shelly who sat in sometimes thank you so much dj prestige and i oh my goodness we have been at it a couple weeks it has been a great time with you i must tell you it's always a pleasure being with you of course dj prestige i'm sure he has something to say to our listeners mm. and of course daddy road oh. on behalf of our resident co-host daddy road we want to really say thanks to all all our listeners all our texters all our whatsapp friends i don't want to start calling names because i'm going to mix up and we're going to take another three hours to call all them names right so I thank see. you guys all the local persons those in portland saint thomas saint mary saint anne those who watch via the world wide web the the facebook connection all our friends overseas who listening text in calling all of y'all we love you guys so much and we appreciate your journey with us in 2019 when next we meet I believe we will be seeing 2020. 2020. I think so. Yes, yes. we will. Yes. So until like then, the third. be safe on the roads, guys. Yeah? yeah. Ensure that you do some changes within yourself. Introspection and change up some things and come back refreshed and revived and a better version of yourself for the new year. year. Prestige. Yeah. yeah. I want to say um, thanks to all our listeners, you know through um 2019 and i wish you all the best for 2020 yes yeah, styles keep on listening and spread the good words all right In and you all take care of yourself indeed yes and be good peace love and unity each and every time every single time love you love you love you early